Are you guys back? <laughs> Sorry about that. I had some issues here. My apologies. Hopefully, uh, edit. I, I very, uh, I'm very sorry about that. Okay. I hope you guys are all coming back. <laughs> Oops, oops, oops. Can you see me? No, you can't see me. Hey, okay, one second. Let me fix that. Video capture. Hello, hello. Can you guys can hear me, but you can't see me? Well, look who's back. Sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. All right. <laughs> we are back in action. Sorry about that. trying to get the best view here on the comet. No, 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 no. Elbig, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Awesome pictures you caught. I don't know which pictures you're referring to. <laughs> I'm trying to get the these uh thank you Ludusel. thank you very much but you can see how much the comet has moved from there to there <laughs> and how long a period are we talking when did I start I started at 6.30. So in 23 minutes, that's what we're talking about. That's the movement we're talking about. Thank you very much for the donations.
24 minutes. Yeah. Does it seem choppy? Hopefully, I fixed that choppiness now. <laughs> it's good. Oh, maybe it isn't. Oh, or hopefully, it is. Does that look good there, or did I just do the, I think we'll just do that. That is amazing. This is about, yeah, 25 minutes of movement from there to there. There's the original. Can someone see the, I don't know. <laughs> The dangers of uh, sharing the whole computer. Thank you. Smudgy? Really? I'm watching my iPad to see what you guys what you guys are seeing. It looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. That's not even the first time. <laughs> That's okay. Change the subject. So we started at 6.30. Why is it getting... The histogram keeps changing because it's a little bit bright outside. Let's keep it there. I don't know. Where do you live?
parachute pants. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You've got my donations up to $9. Thank you, guys. Wow, Muddy just gifted five new memberships? Oh my gosh, Brody. Brody is back and Lunar Eclipse is back. The two guys that always seem to get free memberships. <laughs> I'm sure they're, they're happy now. Thank you, Muddy. I'm glad I didn't get a free membership. Sometimes YouTube gives me a membership to my own page, which is ridiculous. Muddy, that's the second time in a row you gifted five memberships. I wonder if Lunar has even noticed. And Brody. <laughs> L big what's my most powerful telescope probably my explorer scientific oh no no my that, my most part would be my next star 8SC it has 2000 focal length I only use that for solar system objects so like planets yeah muddy is always very generous Oh, James Dugan is already playing with his new emojis that you can that you get for being a, a member. <laughs> you guys have my donations up to eleven dollars. Thank you very much. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> Okay, this is about 32 minutes of movement. Look where the comet started. And look where it is now. You can see that is, that always amazes me. Yeah, I think the comet's going to be around for a while, although today is the brightest, although we're, we're dealing with um, a, a, probably a very bright moon. I'm dealing with the bright moon at least. The moon is 88% uh, illuminated and all of that brightness is bouncing off of the snow making the comet a bit hard to see. But we can see it. We can see it. It's right there. And that was the first picture I captured. Actually, that wasn't really the first picture I captured. The first picture I captured, a satellite went right through the comet. Check that out. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? What luck. What luck that a, a satellite went right through it.
I, I heard people can see it with binoculars. I don't know if anybody can really see it with their naked eye. I should go out and take a look with my binoculars. Oh, you're getting a telescope on the 19th. Congratulations. There's where my telescope is pointing. This is directly north right here. And so the comet is definitely in the northern sky right there, but this is directly north right there. That's That looks like it's northeast. Stanky the cat. You saw it in Palm Springs with binoculars. Awesome. Raven, do you believe in aliens? Oh, I'm sure there's life elsewhere, but remember, if there is life elsewhere, to them, we're the aliens, right? <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you, the cat, again? You saw a skunk that night. <laughs> he wanted to see it. Oh, my gosh. You guys are awesome. You got my donations up to $25. Thank you very much, guys. And Muddy handed out five new memberships. That is amazing. But um, um, somebody, uh, Stanky the Cat, speaking of cats, I wanted to show you. Um, I was talking about a black cat that's always in my, on the last live stream, a black cat that's always in my yard. And this cat, is it came out the next morning. <laughs> It's always there. But look it. It changed its mind. It normally goes on the grass, but it saw all that snow out there. He says, uh, no, I don't think I'm going to go. He really wants to go to the, um, the, the back of the yard, but he changed his mind. He's like, I'm not walking on that snow. Forget it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Thank you, Lynette. That cat, I always see it in the backyard. It's very funny. I see it every day, and I the cat doesn't seem to have a, a big range of where he roams. If I see it every day, he must really stick around this block. And it, it's so cold outside. I'm, the cat doesn't seem bothered at all by it, although he didn't seem to like the snow. The cat needs a, a scope. I don't, I don't feed it, though. That cat doesn't seem to need any help from me. So I just leave it be. You guys have got my donation up to $27. Thank you very much. You guys are really generous. If you're just joining us, here's the comment right here. I'm using a mono camera. I should I should make it even bigger, 100%. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let's go back. Let's do this. Wait. Fit to screen and say 100%. Let's go to the top here. Okay. I can go to the top. No. Oh, I can't. That's not the... Uh, I want to be able to compare it. Let's just go 50% right there. And there's the first picture I captured. If you, There's the first picture, and this was about 38 minutes ago. That's the first picture. This is the 95th picture, 38 minutes later. And you can see how much the comet has moved right from there to there. You see that? That is a lot of movement. Stanky the cat, another donation. Oh my gosh. That's what it looks like in binoculars. Yeah. The sky is still getting darker. So hopefully we're going to even get a, a better view of it. Uh, 
We'll play with the histogram a bit. Two, two. Thank you to the 255 people or 274 that are watching. How awesome is that? Why mono? That's a good question. Well, I use a mono camera to hopefully try and pick off more detail. Um, well, actually, this is a color camera. <laughs> so what am I talking about? I forgot. But this software doesn't let you see it in color that I'm using. So, boo! I could go to sharp cap and capture 15 snap. Nah, sharp cap is not really for me. I usually add the color after the fact. In the software, it will convert it back to color. Sharp cap for color, yeah. Dan Bartlett. Dan Bartlett is the Comet astrophotographer. Dan gets a, it's automatic that NASA posts every, every time there's a comet, NASA will post the pictures that Dan captures. He's the comet guru. I am honored that Dan is here. Although I'm embarrassed that Dan is here because he can see um, that my skies aren't so great here. I don't, I have tough light pollution to deal with. <laughs> but thank you for join, joining, Dan. Dan must have clouds <laughs> if he's watching my stream. That's my scope, and we've got an, a moon that's 88% illuminated, bouncing, the brightness is bouncing off of all my snow, and I got my neighbor's lights, the snow is, the light pollution is really amplified, but I wanted to capture the, the comet anyway. Hey, Ray. Ray. Ray is a big fan of my page. Thanks for watching all my videos, Ray. I always see your comments. There's where we started with the, when, with the, the first picture I captured today. And 42 minutes later, that's how much the comet has moved. Kind of going that direction. It's going in that direction because the... the my telescope horizontally flips the image. But if you look at the, the animation I captured two days ago, that's when I flip it in processing, it's really moving in, in that direction that you can see in the bottom there. Do I have any good camera suggestions for less than $500? For less than five, I don't know. Does anybody can I'm sure you can get a, a a Canon DSLR for less than five hundred. See, my problem is when people ask me for for a less expensive equipment. I didn't start out with less. I don't, I've never been on a real budget. But can anyone else recommend a good camera for less than less than uh, five hundred? I'm sure if you did a search on YouTube, you will find uh, cheap uh, uh, cheap. Just do a search for cheap astro gear. I'm sure you'll find something.
James Dukin just subbed to Dan Bartlett. Yes, that that was a that's a good move. <laughs> yeah, Dan is the 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 comet guru. <laughs> Dan said, no, don't do it. <laughs> oh, Ray would know. Ray says lots of good cams for 500 bucks, for under 500. Ray probably, uh, Ray, maybe you can list a few, Ray, in the comments. Hey, Tarek. If you're just joining us, we are looking at... Uh, here's the latest picture I've captured of the comet, and this is the first picture. So check out how much that has moved in 45 minutes. From there, if you use um, um, these three stars as a reference, they're not quite as bright because, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's hard to see because I, I didn't have a dark enough skies for that first image, but it's definitely moving a lot. Let me see my phone. I don't know how long I even have clear skies for. I don't, for me, I don't know if the comet is going to be, even though it's closest to Earth tonight, I don't know if it's going to be any brighter than it was two days ago because the moon is now brighter in the sky than it was two days ago, which which hurts uh, getting the, that comet tail. The, the light pollution really hurts. Elbig, six ninety nine. Why don't you use your next star in our solar system? It's if it's in our solar system. Uh, why don't I? That's a good question. The problem is, the the next star right now. That would have been a really good choice for a telescope, but the next star is on a mount that I can't control from inside the house. And I guess I would uh, say it's laziness on my part that I didn't swap out telescopes. With my cable management, it's not easy to make that change. Otherwise, yeah, that, that would have been the thing to do. Very, very smart, Elbig. And thank you for the donation. You guys have my donations up to uh, $34 and five new members today. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mars looks like a little dot with the, the eye. Thank you, Ray, for helping out with uh, some camera suggestions. And if you guys were on my live stream uh, two days ago, you might have heard me talking about that I had a, a colonoscopy today. I had one this morning. They knock you out. They, they go up your behind and they make sure everything is all good. So it wasn't perfect, but... 
I don't have to go back for another three years. They found some polyps, they cut them out, and no cancer. That's the important thing. They probably wouldn't have found polyps if I had gone when I was supposed to five or ten years ago for my first checkup. The longer you wait, the more likely they might find something to cut out. Is Dan still here? What software do you use, Dan? Do you use SharpCap or some other software to capture comments with? Big, thank you very much. What's going to be my next project? Well, um, I can show you. Let's see. I don't know if Dan is here anymore. My next project, you can see what on this scope, you can already see while well, I finished M33. I'm going to delete that one. Oh, I can't delete it yet while I'm running. But I'm working on the Andromeda Galaxy, um, the Horse Head, and M45. Those, those are in the works right now as soon as the moon goes away. And there is my setup. Maybe that's the North Star right there, Polaris. And I'm using a ring telescope. And you can see the icicles. And the snow. When is the comet passing tonight? Well, it's going to be bright for a few more days. Well, maybe a, a lot longer than that. But today is its closest approach as we speak. Is the video better since I started and started since I started a new stream? I think it's better. Doesn't seem choppy now, does it? No choppiness. Good. Is it visible in 
Bortle Six guys? Heck yeah, I'm viewing this. Oh, you mean to the naked eye? I don't know how dark it has to be for the naked eye, but I'm a Bortle 8 or Bortle 9, and I'm seeing it with my telescope, so... But to the naked eye, I should go out right now with my binoculars. You want me to go see if I can see it? That would be awesome to see with my binoculars. I wonder if I can spot it. That would be cool. I know there's no way I'll see it with my naked eye. Do I even have my binoculars over here? I wonder if I can see it with this. I have, I, this was actually a, I think I got this as a five year anniversary from uh, when I used to work in IT ages ago. Hey, it's cold. You guys think it's possible? Hmm. I mean, let's see where this is pointing. It's pointing. I know where to look. I just go outside and wherever my telescope is pointing, that's where the comet is. That's so interesting. It's, what's the temperature? 21 Fahrenheit? I have to go to the bathroom first. That stuff I drink is still hitting me. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. I'm going to go have a look. And then I'll let you know if it's possible to see with the binoculars. Okay. I'll be right back. And uh, I don't know. Uh, you should be able to see me trying to find the comet. I'm not going to spend too much time looking, but I'll be right back. This ring cam is pretty good. Doesn't seem to matter how cold it gets. And it runs on a battery. I can sit down the camera wherever I want. I'll be right back.
Did you guys see me trying to find it? Oh, do we got a spare right here? Wait, I'll fix that. I was shaking. I could not keep my hand still to be able to see it. I, uh, I, I, first I looked at bright stars to make sure I, okay, I can see the bright stars with my binoculars, but I just couldn't keep my hand still. It's only 21 degrees Fahrenheit and I was shaking. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> I tried. I bet if I could have held still, I would have seen it, but oh well, <laughs> I tried, <laughs> I tried. I'm still shaking, oh, it's just too dang cold. 21, you know, I'm still tempted to go back out. I really want to see it with the binoculars. How do you become a member? There's a join if you go to my YouTube homepage. <sighs> yeah, 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. It might be colder. The Alexa might not be. Uh... Let me see what this thing says. Oh, this says 19 degrees Fahrenheit. No wonder. It's cold. Dang, I really wanted to... S I'm so tempted to go back out there and try again. I can't see where I put my glasses. Hey, thank you for joining, Jason. That's just, I have six new members today. <laughs> Looks like I got a lot more people watching while I was outside trying to see it with binoculars. Oh, it's, yeah, minus seven Celsius. How did you become a member? Hey, Lunar. Muddy Creek gifted five new memberships, and you were one of them. You and Brody are back, Lunar. <laughs> so you can thank Muddy, Lunar, for your, for your gifted membership. Lunar and Brody always manage to get free memberships because uh, somebody usually gifts, gifts, gifts a few. Muddy usually gifts a few while he's here. I'm still shaking because it was so cold outside. Yeah, Brody's back. Whew. Hello, we got seven, 375 people here. Wow. For the ones who are joining, this is how much the comet has moved. This is the first picture I captured. Oh, wait, let me make sure this is 50%. Okay, wait, let me go back to uh, that and go 50. So you can see how much it's moved in uh, an hour and five minutes, 65 minutes. That is a lot of movement. <laughs> And it looks like it's going to be going right off the page soon. <laughs> I'll reposition it. I have clouds supposedly coming, though, in about two and a half hours. So I got about two and a half more hours to go. <laughs> Thanks for joining, everyone. I'm glad you could make it, though. Dare I go out... And, and try to see it. I really want to see this. And I'm, I, there's no way I can see it with the naked eye. But I really want to see it with binoculars. I feel that's the next best thing. It's just so damn cold. Go out. <laughs> Should I try it again?
You're going out, Brody. I have gloves. I have one glove. I have two. You guys mind if I go out and try again? I really want to see it with binoculars. The thing is, I know exactly where to look because I I just point I just look up where my telescope is pointing. Just watch image after image. I'm capturing 15 second exposures and you'll see the common moving in that direction. Watch this. I want to sit watch you can see even with a 15 second exposure, watch this. You will see the comet even moved a little bit. Watch this. You see that? It even moved. Okay, I'm gonna go out one more time. Hey, all right. Uh, we're gonna go see, I'm gonna go see if I can spot it again. You can see me. You can see me trying. <laughs> I really want to see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, some bright stars first to make sure I can see those with my binoculars. Then I'm going to try and see that comet. But you know what? Is the comet as bright as the stars around it? Let me see that again. Yeah. All right. I should see it. Okay, I'm going to go out and look with binoculars. <coughs> One more time. See, I'm already sneezing. Okay, we're going for it.
Oh. <laughs> How long did that? Oh, I got a new member. Thank you, Elbig. How long did that thing say reconnect? Did you lose it right away, right after I left? I couldn't see nothing. Ugh. I tried. I, I can't see it. Yeah. I tried. Oh, it was like three minutes. Ugh. I gave up. Yeah, it's too cold and it's a lot of light pollution. I tried. I tried to, to look exactly where the telescope was looking, but... It's to the north. If you look at where my telescope is pointing, um, this is directly north right here. So the telescope is pointing to the northeast. So more more north than east. I really thought I was going to be able to see it, but I, I just can't hold steady enough. Where do you look in Florida? Probably in the same northeast area. Let's see where it is exactly here. Oops. You can see uh, there's north. And there's the comet. At least in my location, I'm I'm sure it would be very close to the same in Florida. Because I think it's yeah. I'm sure you you would see it in the same location, except maybe maybe a little lower. Oh. oh boy well I tried I I tried to go outside and see it with binoculars but it's it's too cold and my whole body is shaking when I'm out there <laughs> it's about 18 or 19 degrees Fahrenheit so here's how much the I, I like doing this so about an hour and 15 minutes ago this is how much the comet has moved in an hour and 15 minutes. It's heading right off my page. And I'm only going to have about, uh, yeah, I'm only going to have about uh, maybe two and a half more hours before clouds move in. Let's see. Let's see the weather. Here's Detroit right here. And you can see I've got clouds coming at me in both directions. <laughs> but not yet. Not yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. 
I'm still sniffling from being outside. Look what I got. I watched the Pez Outlaw on Netflix and it made me hungry for Pez. So I bought a whole bag of Pez from Amazon. That's how TV influences me. I'm gonna have some candy. I couldn't have this yesterday. I'm a junk food junkie. I love Pez. I pretty much like. I pretty much like all candy. You just put candy in front of me and I eat it. It's amazing I don't have diabetes yet. I start to think it's probably just a matter of time. The media said it would be visible to the naked eye, but I haven't heard of anyone actually seeing it with their naked eye yet. I don't know of anybody. I think you would have to be in really dark skies. I mean, look at the magnitude. 5.41. That is borderline, I think, for naked eye. Wait. How bright of a star can you see with the naked eye? Oh, okay, well, Google says you can see up to magnitude 6. It would have to be a really dark sky, though. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. That's negative 6 of a faint star. 6.5. The naked eye limit is about magnitude 6.5. So this is under that threshold, so it should be visible to the naked eye, 5.41. If anyone sees it with their naked eye, let me know. But I'm sure you've got to have really dark skies. I can't believe 6.5 is the... Oh, wait a minute. In average country skies, it's about 5.7. And anything fainter, okay, in, in my area, it would be about 4.5, so 5.7 in good skies. Yeah, see, it's borderline. So if I put my mouse here, you will see how much it moves in 15 seconds. Watch my mouse. Here comes the next. I'm taking on 15 second exposures. And watch that. You see that? You can see it already moved. In just a 15, that's why you can't do long exposures on this comet. Because uh, the, the comet will start to stretch in a long exposure. 15 seconds might even be too long. You see how it's moving? Watch this. I'll put my mouse right here. Here comes the next exposure. You see that? Hang on here, I gotta see something here. I'm, I wanna go, <laughs> I can't, not again. 
I keep wanting to go outside to try and find it with binoculars. I just think it would be cool to see it with binoculars, but I better not. I don't think I'm going to have much luck. My lights keep turning off automatically. I have automatic lights. They don't seem to work right. Telescope isn't wanting to balance? Is that your telescope, Brody? Mine seems like it's doing a fairly good job. Let's see my guiding. Yeah, guiding looks pretty good. Very good, actually. Will it be seen in the UK? Yeah, certainly. The UK is very north, isn't it? The UK is more north than I am, isn't it? The more north you are, the better you can see it. Okay. Um, well, um, I bought a, um, I bought this for the diffraction. You're asking about the diffraction on my Rasa. I did buy this little thing. I never put it on. So without this, um, if you look at bright stars, I do have a bit of an issue, um, with the cables. Look at this. Wait. Let's see if you can see one of my bright stars. You can see my cable. It looks like the, this is cutting through that star. You can almost see it there, right? So I do have a bit of an issue on bright stars. But this would fix it if I wasn't so lazy I, that I attach it. You can buy these on the internet. I'm surprised I found it that quick. It, will it be visible in New York? It, I don't know about from the big city, um, but any telescope should be able to see it. eating my Pez. <laughs> Watch how much it moves in one exposure. Look at the mouse where the mouse is pointing. Did you see how much it moved? Watch it move again. This is only 15 seconds apart. Here it goes again. Watch this. Here comes the next one. You see that? It moved up. Oh, we got a plane. Oh my God. <laughs> we got crisscross this way and this way. Did my, uh, uh, I don't think it picked it up. Oh, well.
again, uh, just to show you, if you're just joining us, here's where we started with the comet. When the sky was a little bit too bright, it was hard to see, but look how much it's moved from here. An hour and a half now, I've been pointing at it for 90 minutes, and it moved from there to there. <laughs> you see more stars here because the sky got darker as we went along. That's why you see more stars. It was still a little bit too early after the sunset to be to be starting there. From there to there, though. That is freaking crazy. Thanks for joining, everybody. I can't believe we got over 400 people watching. But today is the day. I don't think I'm going to go after the comet again because the moon is going to be even brighter tomorrow. It's just getting more difficult. And the comet is going to... Because look after today. Let's see the comet. is uh, After today... Let's see. Um, it's 5.41 now. Tomorrow it's 5.45, so it's the bigger the number, the, the less bright it is. So yeah, it's definitely, each each passing day after today, it's going to become more faint. So that's, that's that. Uh, excuse me, Gig, thank you very much for becoming a member. I have eight new members today. Wow. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. And I will try and do uh, more live streams for members, exclusive to members. I haven't been on there because I've, my, um, uh, it's been so cloudy lately. I haven't had much to, to live stream either way. But I will definitely try and uh, if I if I capture the comet again, maybe it will be for exclusive to members. I don't know. Although it is nice when you can invite everybody. It's fun to have 400 people watching. I get a kick out of that because I'm enjoying it. And hopefully the people on the stream are, are enjoying watching. I'm sniffling from being outside. It was so cold. Yeah, thanks, James. 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Whew. I'm so tempted. I might go out again in a minute. <laughs> I want to see it with my binoculars. Thanks, Pi. Why is the comet, yeah, we know why the comet is green. But you know what, it's funny. Wait, I wanna try something here, chat. Do you, have you guys heard of chat GPT? It's like the latest AI and it can answer, Google is actually worried about this program because it's AI, it might be even better than, watch this. Why are comets green? Comets appear green due to the presence of a particular molecule. Can you read that? I don't want to read the whole thing. But take it diametric. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that. But you see that? Isn't that awesome? Sometimes if people ask me a question, I go to this chat GPT and get you the answer. Art from artificial intelligence. Oh, but, oh, I went over the limit. Oh, I can't paste that whole thing, but you can read it. Or maybe you can't read it. 
That this is why comments are green. Can you read that? I blew it up. Yeah, Chat GPT is uh, the latest in artificial intelligence. And Google is shaking in their boots. They don't like anything that can compete with them, especially in artificial intelligence that everybody is using. It's the latest rage. Google might be easier to do since everybody already seems to default to Google, but ChatGPT, the AI intelligence, it's coming. And no way to stop it. Skynet is upon us. Where to watch it in the sky? Um, in my location, it's almost directly north. Very high in the north in the Detroit area. And um, look where my telescope is pointing. This is about north right here. So my telescope has got an eye on it. Did you see that? It just eclipsed a star. Can I make this any bigger? I don't think so. Watch this. We just eclipsed a star. It's gonna pass, the, watch this. We're gonna, it's gonna pass it in a minute. It's, the telescope is dithering. Wait, wait for the next exposure to come through. Oh, come on. Okay, here comes the next exposure. There is a star right there. Watch this. Did we pass it already? Not yet. Oh, I can see the star right there coming out. Here comes the next exposure. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> that star was blocked by the comet. That's cool. You see that right there? It's now, you see now it's getting farther away again. That was kind of interesting. I got to remember where this part is. That's actually a cool shot. It's cool when you can get an, even a planet to eclipse a star. Yeah, you see that? I saw it coming up. Ah, I, don't, I should make a time lapse with that. That was actually cool. You know, I think I've got enough of captured images do you want to watch this and i'm like on uh in sharp, sharp uh can we see this in color in sharp cap do you want me to switch to a, a color program Let, let's just try that i'm going to try and switch to uh let's pause this okay now i'm going to open up sharp cap 
Let's try and see this in color. I like to capture images in uh, Sequence Generator Pro, but when I want to watch something in color, just for viewing purposes, I like SharpCap. Because SharpCap will let me see it in color. No, 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 no. Let's see, I, mean, I want to put 15 second exposures. Let's see what happens. Let's see how it looks. Maybe it's gonna look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Oh, I gotta, I gotta select um, RGB. Oops, my, my mistake. Oh, wait, let's do that. Uh, I, I just selected. Okay, let's wait for the next exposure to come through. Hang on here. We gotta find where the comet is. It's some. Oh, there it is. I'll make it brighter in a second here. Okay, hundred fifty percent. 200, 300, ooh, 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 Is that any better? I thought there was a histogram somewhere. Let me, let me see if I can find the histogram. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see if this works. Well, this isn't the histogram I was thinking of. for the next image. Can you can you almost see a tail with this or no? Can you kind of see a tail? Is that better? Now, if I stack too many pictures together, See, I got it clearer because after about three images of stacking, the comet starts to get long. So let's just wait for the next one to come for a second. I'll put save and reset after every three, more than three frames and we get in trouble. 
Where is Saturn? Saturn has set. Do you think that's a, that's a good view? Or do you like the Sequence Generator Pro view better? How can you watch it from Iran? I don't I don't know. Do you have a telescope? That would help. Do you want me to stay in this view or do you want me to go to Sequence Generator Pro? Oh, I'm doing good. You can see, um, if, if you wait too long to stack exposures, you get it gets elongated. But it should correct itself. Let's see. I said save and reset every three frames. So it should correct itself. Or is it just getting longer? <laughs> I don't think that's doing. Oh yeah, I did that. I, that was wrong. I wasn't doing that right. This one's good. It goes dark because I'm resetting it every one minute. I'm sorry. I like Sequence Generator Pro. That's what I'm used to. That's my baby. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got to go back to Sequence Generator Pro. I I feel more comfortable in Sequence Generator Pro. All right, we're back in business. I I feel I have more control. Yeah. Wow, thank you, Jamie. Thanks for becoming a member of Chuck Supporters. 
I have um, eight new members during this stream. Thank you very much. Okay, dare I go out and try to see it with binoculars one more time? Should I go for it? I really want to see it. With, oh my gosh, what's that? Don't tell me we have clouds. Hang on one second. Let me look out the window. You watch those. You you can um, you can see me opening my window here. If you <laughs> look right here. But let me take a look. Okay, no, that's just a passing thing. That's just a passing phase. Those, they're, they're, those clouds are going to go away. Yes. Dare I go out again? Ah, should I? Oh, yeah. I want to take my banana. I have to see this. Or my sky is just too. Can you see it in Dubai? I don't know exactly how north Dubai is. Okay. I hope it doesn't time out on you. I'm going out one more time to try this. Oh. This is. I'm just a glutton for punishment. It's, it's 18 or 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we go. Last time I'm going out. If I don't see it this time, I'm leaving my glasses here. I always forget my glasses. All right. I'll be right back. Here's my binoculars, the Bushnell that I bought. I, didn't, I got them as a gift when I used to work in IT. I'll be back. Hang on. I got the keys. Yeah. Okay.
I tried. I tried. I tried. Maybe I'll try one more time. It's just I can't stay out there too long. My whole body is trembling from the cold. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I don't understand why. It seems bright enough. I use my binoculars. Okay, look at a bright star. I can see the bright star easily, but when I try to look in the area of the comet, I don't, I don't see it. Maybe my eyes just haven't adjusted. <laughs> glasses. Oh, glasses. I didn't take them outside, so I didn't forget. I tried. I tried, man. Why do my concurrent users go up when I leave? <laughs> I leave and it seems uh, without me, my, my, I get more people watching than when I'm here. Maybe I'm just not photogenic enough. I'm going to try probably one or two more times, but it is getting a little hazy. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I tried. Yeah. I'm keeping my coat on. I'm a little bit cold now. You guys want to see something cool? Watch this. Let's see the watch. Let's watch a time lapse of how the much the, the comet has moved since we've been watching it. Watch this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, our documents uh, data light comet day three. Let's see. Okay. Now let's go to, uh, let me do this. Okay, we're gonna watch a time lapse now. It's Brace yourself, it's gonna be, er no, it's not gonna be earth shattering, but it's gonna be very cool. Watch this. Watch, just don't, don't go anywhere. Watch this, watch this time lapse. You got to see it. This is how much, okay, we, we've been imaging for almost two hours and we're going to see now the comet, how much it's moved tonight in two hours. It's at its closest approach distance to earth. So, uh, that's my brother. Hang on one second. Hello? Hey, I'm live streaming right now. Can I call you back? I'm live streaming on YouTube. Do you want to watch me on YouTube? <laughs> did did you want did you, you're watching the prices right? Did you did you need anything that's quick or no? Okay, I'll call you back. Bye. I hate to cut off my brother, but Let's see. And why is he watching the prices right? Since when does he watch game shows? He always acts like he's so busy. Uh oh. Hello. <laughs> Did I just lose you guys for a second? Oh, you know what happened? I forgot. Can you guys see? Give me one. Can. It's it's hanging. I forgot because Pixin Sight is a pig. That's why I'm, I'm I got forgot when I go in Pixin Sight. I got to get out of this program quick, but I want to show you the time lapse. That's why it was hanging. 
Pixinsight takes up a lot of processing. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Resolution dropped because, yeah. Okay, just hang on. Hopefully, uh, it did all the the. Okay, well, I don't know if this is uh. These images don't look that great in this program, but watch, watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit go. There's how much the comet has moved. It's a kind of a mini time lapse of what we got today. You see that? Isn't that cool? Can you see that on your screen? I don't know. Oh, geez, it's still going up. Isn't that cool? That's what's hap that's what's been happening since we've been imaging. I mean, let me try and get uh, a, a bigger picture here. I'll, I'll, we'll watch it one more time. You see that? If, if you're just joining us, that's that's what we've been capturing this whole evening for two hours. The comet moving. Yeah. It's just hard because Pixinsight takes up a lot of resources in my... I think you can see it pretty good, though. Yeah. One more time here. Isn't that cool? Now you get an idea of how... Oh, wait, wait. Is this the star? We watched it eclipse a star. Let's zoom in on that star. Where was it? Where was that? Um, there's one of these stars it eclipsed. Was it this one? Yeah, this one. Watch it. Watch this star right here. It's going to... We watched it earlier. It's going to eclipse... Oh, maybe it wasn't that one. Or maybe it was. Or was it this one? That one. <laughs> Did you see that? Watch it one more time. It's going to eclipse this star right up here. I saw it. We saw that earlier. Okay, it's coming back around. Watch this star right here. Oh, I think the I think it's my writing is in the way. Okay, I'll, I'll move it down. Watch this star right here. Sorry. Right here. It's going to eclipse that star. Yeah. I like that. Okay. We're back. Yeah, it is moving fast, isn't it? Yeah. You didn't hear that. I'm still suffering from that stuff I had to drink last yesterday for the colonoscopy. <laughs> 
that's my apology. That wasn't polite. My apologies. People get mad when I uh, do that kind of stuff. <laughs> like, I'm going to hear about this later, trust me. I'm going to get some complaints, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the complaints, so they'll probably be in the comments later. The colonoscopy wasn't bad. The hardest part was drinking that crappy stuff you have to do to, to drink beforehand to, to clean out your system. But the worst thing about the colonoscopy today was just putting the IV in my hand. Ow, that hurt. I'm like, ow. What's wild, though, is when they put you to sleep. I swear I was talking to the nurse, and the next thing I remember... I, I'm back in the other room drinking Pepsi and eating crackers. The, the whole thing. just It was like space-time just skipped. I'm looking at the nurse ready for the, the corner, and then it's over and I'm eating crackers. What happened? Where did the time go? I didn't even feel myself getting drowsy. I was like, I'm talking to her. Just like that. Boom. I'm out. I didn't even know they were knocking me out yet. Uh, I got the results. No, they, you know, it was just a checkup, but they say no cancer found, but they found five small polyps. They took them out and then it's routine. They got to send them in to see if they're precancerous, but they want me back in three years. So I guess that's good enough. My brother got a 10 year pass. I only got a three year pass. <laughs> My sister got five years. So that's it. So I'm pretty happy. I was nervous. But you know what? I don't have any symptoms for cancer, so I really, it was a routine checkup, and I wasn't expecting anything to go bad. But the thing is, the routine checkup, I should have done it 10 years earlier. That's probably why they found five small polyps, because I waited so long to do it. Maybe they would have been, well, they probably still would have been five small polyps. Maybe they would have been Three small polyps a long time ago and two small polyps this time. Eh, I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works. <laughs> that would be gross, but they showed me. You guys want to see pictures of my innards? <laughs> no, I'm not going to show you. I thought about that. I don't want to gross you guys out. But they give you pictures. Oh, yeah, here's, here's what your insides look like. I didn't want to do the colonoscopy, but uh, I bet I did fart, but I wouldn't know. I was knocked out. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to see that. They give you the pictures, and they're like, okay, here's a polyp, but I, I can't, I can't, I don't understand. I don't know what they're looking at. That's a polyp? I don't see anything. <laughs> Patreon? I'm not on Patreon. God gave us, God save us from the innards. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see them anyway. I got there on a little piece of paper. If I hold it up to the screen, you wouldn't be able to see them. You're curious about the star right next to the moon? There's a star right next to the moon? Where? That one?
haven't heard of anyone seeing it with their naked eye yet. I, I can't even spot it with binoculars in my area. I've tried. Although I'm still tempted to go out and see one more time. <laughs> That's just the way I am. If you're just joining us, you guys want to see how much the comet was moving? Here's the program. This is what we captured. And you can see the comet. You, can you see that? Watch that. These are all the images I've captured of the comet. And this is tonight. You, that is so much movement for about two hours and, and t uh, ten minutes. Will we get the color version? At some point, I might take a break tomorrow, but uh, yeah. I'd like to, it's, it's hard because the moon is out and it's blocking the tail. From, it's, it's, it's difficult tonight. The moon and the snow amplifying the light pollution. But this is the, the right next to me is the, is the, you don't see it? Capture the gas giant. One more time, I'll go back to the... Yeah. <laughs> All right, stop that. I don't know how much longer I got before this thing runs off the, 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 the page here. You can see the comet started up here. Now it's off, it, it started off around the center and now it's worked its way all the way up to the page there, up to the corner. I am in Detroit, Michael. I, well, I'm in Redford. I'm about a half mile west. Uh, Detroit is east of me. Half mile east, directly east. I was born in Detroit. Where is the comet? There you are. There is the comet, and this is the telescope I am using to capture it with. Do you guys want to see me go out one more time and try and see it with binoculars? <laughs> I know I keep doing this. I really want to try it. You couldn't find it in Indiana? You couldn't find it? Did you were you using binoculars or what were you using? I use a pole master for polar alignment. Trying to get that lettering out of the way.
You couldn't see it either with binoculars? Oh. That's not good. I don't have much hope then. We're very near Detroit. Astro Corone, where have you been? Astro Corone's my moderator. You're two hours and 15 minutes. I th two hours late. I'm telling you, it's hard to find good help. It's, fine to, it's hard to find good help that works for free. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know that, Astro Corone. If you're just joining us, here is the comet as it makes its closest approach to Earth. And in the lower left is what I captured two days ago when I processed it and put it in color. So it's it's it, it's not that it, it's probably brighter. Um, it was probably brighter two days ago when the moon was less bright, because right now the moon is about 89 percent illuminated. And that impacts being able to see it. Uh, anything faint like uh, some of the tail. It's it's more extra light pollution that makes it hard to see, but it is at its closest point to Earth right now. Whoops. I still got my coat, my coat on because I was just outside trying to see with binoculars. I'm still cold. Thank you. Hey, look at Astro Corone using his emojis. That's what you get when you're a member. You get to use Chuck's emojis. Okay, I'm going to go outside again and see if I can see it with my binoculars. All right. Hang on. Let's go do one more test. Wait, I got I to gotta close this first. Because this thing times out after so long, the full view times out. But I gotta admit, I like this ring camera. Um, it's excellent surveillance and it runs perfectly fine in, in this freezing weather. Uh, 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna go out. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go out. This is the last time I'm going out. If I don't see it, with my binoculars this time, I give up. This thing is just too faint. Or maybe it's just too hard because the moon is so bright and it's it's blocking out other objects. I'll be right back. Let me make sure I got my keys. I'm going to leave my glasses here. I always forget my glasses. I don't need those. All right. I will be right back. Yep. I'm brave in the outdoors.
Maybe I saw it, maybe I didn't, but I don't think I saw it. It's I'm looking for something that's a little faint, a little something that's fuzzy compared to stars. I didn't really see anything that was fuzzy compared to the stars. So, it's, I don't understand. And my thought is the moon is just simply too bright, the light pollution too difficult in my area to be able to see it with my naked eye, to be able to see it even with binoculars. If it were warmer, no snow on the ground that's amplifying light pollution, the moon wasn't out maybe, you know? So, I'm cutting out. Hello? You can't hear me? Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I see the I see the mic is on. You hear me? Okay. I tried. I tried. We hear him? Okay. All right. Must be somebody else with issues. Yeah, I, I, I've gone out three or four times now. I, I'm not doing that again. It's too cold, and I, I don't. I don't think I have any chance of seeing that comet. Not in these conditions. And when I'm out standing out there still like that, I'm trembling from the cold. <laughs> no, no, thank you. I, I did my job. My brother tried to call me. I feel bad for cutting him off, but I'm live streaming. What can I do? Tupac says I'm... Tupac can't hear me. Maybe uh, anything 399 still said he can't hear me. I don't know why. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn up the volume on my iPad. He, still said he can't hear no, me. no, no, no. I, I hear myself. So I don't know why some guys are having issues. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to my fans. Yeah, listen to listen to Astro Corona and, and refresh. Maybe that will help. But I have an iPad so I can see what you guys are seeing and hear what you guys are hearing, and it seems fine. Okay. Listen to Astro Corona. Try and refresh. Maybe somebody accidentally accidentally hit. Uh, if you hear me breathing, I'm all stuffed up, so sorry if that's coming across on the microphone. Okay. Yeah, it's not my problem. Okay. Sorry for the ones who can't hear me, but yeah, try and refresh. Now go away, clouds. It it didn't look too bad when I was out there. Let me see. Let me see the uh the weather here. I want to look at the weather map. Okay, here's me in Detroit. I mean, there's a part, a little bit partly cloudy, but it's not that bad. The clouds are moving really quick, though. It's probably this stuff up here that's going to get me. Oh, you can see the clouds here in the background, too. So maybe it's a little hazy. You can see the clouds. I knew my weather app, my weather app said it's going to be com completely over, over overcast by 11 p.m. So I, I got a couple hours. I'm going to hang out as long as you guys are hanging out. Oh, we got an airplane. I am... Um, I am only, I am about 20 minutes in the arrival path of Detroit Metro Airport, so I bet you that plane just, let's see if my, uh, I wonder if my latest image caught, let's see if we got that, picked up that plane in my latest image here. Let's wait, I don't know if it was, uh, <laughs> a lot of times my exposures get hit with planes. Let's see if this one picked it up. Nope, 
we missed it. That's good. But you can see there's the comet right up there. And you can see here's where it started. And here's where we're at now. See from there to there. And if you're just joining us, let me show you, let me show you this really quick. I did a time lapse here, a, a quickie time lapse of where is it? Right there. So if you can see it right here, you can see the comet. That's how much it's been moving since we've been watching it for two and a half hours. Ah, not my sister's calling me. I can't keep cutting people. Give me one second. Hello? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I'm on a live stream right now, but you can talk real quick. No way. Uh, I was wondering about that. Wow. Oh, boy, I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to look into that. Wow. Yeah, wow. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look at the comet. It's almost rolling off the page. It's moving so fast. It started in the center right there. And now, um, after two and a half hours, it went, made its way up there. Watch that. From here, <laughs> I'm going to have to recenter it. But there it is. Oh, and there's a bright... St That's not the comet right there. This is the comet. But that's a really bright star. I wonder what star that is. Let's see if we can see that in Stellarium. Aha! I think it's, uh, The image is flipped because of the way this telescope is. Here's the comet. And here's... The comet, it's got to be... I think I'm thinking it's this bright star right there. Or maybe not. Is it too far away? I don't know. Normally the image is um, horizontally flipped the way this telescope is. But that is a really bright star. Why don't I... Wait, let's see. Uh, DRS, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to see that, figure out what star that is. I can only guess that it's this bright one. But there should be two other bright stars near it, and I don't see that. Interesting. This is not live. This is live. Well, I'm doing 15 second exposures. And uh, watch the next exposure. The comet, is, look where my mouse is. The comet is going to move a little. Here comes the next exposure. It's about as live as I can get it. Can you see it? Did you see it move a little? Watch the next exposure come through. It'll be getting farther away from my mouse. See that? <laughs> It's moving. So yeah, it's definitely live. I'm just taking 15 second exposures. It is going fast. And if you're just joining us, let me let me show you this time lapse again. This is what I've been capturing. This is a 
not all of the movement um, about I, I I did this about two about a half hour ago but check out the movement here wait till wait let it get back to the top here wait stop and there's the comment right there you can see it moving see that isn't that cool that's today how much it moved today and that doesn't include about the last half hour's worth of data. Uh, excuse me. I've gone out three or four times today to try and see it with binoculars, but I can't. Oh, look at we got we got some haze going on. That ain't cool. But I think I can still see the comet. A little bit hazy, but we're still seeing it. Uh it will clear up, Brody. Mine just says it's not gonna clear up. It says uh, overcast by 11, and then it says it's not going to clear up until 3 a.m. I'm going to be in bed. I'm not waiting. I ain't, I ain't sticking around. But thanks for the thanks for the warning, Brody. Hello to the 471 people hanging around. I appreciate that. It's fun when you get a lot of people watching this. But I don't think I'm going to live stream it anymore after it's going to be it's going to be getting a little less bright each day after today. And the moon is going to be getting even more bright. It's going to be getting a little bit harder to see. So this is probably the last day I'm going to live stream the comet. But this is, today is its closest point to Earth. So today was a good day to do it on. It's five degrees below Polaris, really? Let us see, let us see. Where is Polaris? Oh. Actually five, uh, five degrees. That looks like more like uh, 20 degrees above Polaris. <laughs> and there's another plane. I already see it. Or it's a UFO. You see that? It's... <laughs> No, it's not a UFO. I'm kidding. It's a plane. But it's going to, the plane will come up around here and then it will swing around that way because I'm in the arrived See, It's going to see, it was going this way and now it's going to swing around that way because I'm in the arrival path of Detroit Metro Airport. And it's going to, it's going to, it goes in this direction. I know their, I know their path, of course. They come by every five or six minutes. <laughs> It's worse. It's worse on Friday nights. I guess people are flying back into Detroit. Yeah, he's going straight, but eventually he's going to veer off to that direction. Let's see. Let's see if my telescope picked that one up. Let's see if, if we got that plane. They interfere with my pictures a lot. Nope. Looks like we missed us. Good. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be interesting? You took a picture of the comet lunar eclipse. Awesome. Congratulations. Watch this. I'm going to, just so you know, I'm going to, 
Let's blow it up a little more. Watch when the next exposure comes. I'm going to put my mouse right there and you can see how much it will move in only 15 seconds. Did you see how much it moved? That was only 15 seconds. My nose itches. It looks like I'm picking it, but I'm itching it. Is the camera choppy again? Let me look. Sometimes it gets choppy when I run. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to close Pix in sight. It is choppy. It was choppy earlier, but then it stopped. I picked my nose. That's picking my nose. It's a little choppy. Screw the choppiness. Maybe we'll help after I close Pix in sight. Oh, it's, it got choppy again. Why? Let me see if I can fix it. Hang on one second. Yeah, YouTube isn't... Re oh, there it is. It's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Oh, shut up, YouTube. I. You know what? I blame YouTube. And now it, it could be my internet speed. Maybe my... Maybe uh, Spectrum isn't doing the job. I'm trying, man. Here's the comment if you're just joining us. I can't believe we've got over 400 people watching. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, this comet hasn't been seen in 50 years. No, it hasn't been seen in 50,000 years. And I don't know if it will ever revisit the human race again. I've captured the ISS before, sure. Right, 50,000 years. Excuse me. The location in the sky, it is literally directly north. No, no, that's Polaris. <laughs> that's Polaris. Of course, that one's almost directly north. Sorry. The comet is almost directly north. Right there. And here's north. And it's uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. About 63 degrees high. Which country do I belong? I am from the USA. Is the video better? Has it been choppy lately again? Maybe ever since I closed Pixinsight, it's operating better. 
I think it's better now. I was going outside earlier to try and see the comet with binoculars, but it just wasn't working. I don't know if it's going to get much closer than it is right now. Sorry, sorry, I'm yawning. It's not even that late. It's only 9 p.m. Is somebody saying they can't hear again? See the the comet. The screen is getting brighter because because I'm looking. There's another plane, but because I'm pointing at some passing clouds passing by, and so it's it's affecting the image. That's that's why that's happening. That's why I want to keep readjusting it. Let's get the uh, not that. So we got the clouds working against us a little bit. I only got one hour of sleep last night because I had to drink that stupid crap before the, the colonoscopy this morning. Ugh. You're supposed to drink a big jug of stuff before you do that colonoscopy. It was so awful because it flushes out your system. When I got to the halfway point, I just took the jug and poured it down the sink. I'm like, I'm not drinking any more of this crap. I had enough. And you know what? I didn't need to drink it all. I was fine. I was clean. Can't my telescope capture stuff in high definition? Um, this might not look like high definition, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> but I have to stack it and produce a, a better image. What you see right now is a, they call it the bare matrix. Bear matrix. I'm not sure what it's called, but you can sort of see a grid, and you have to and you have to stack the data to get a, a better image. Will it cross Pakistan? I don't, is Pakistan in the Southern Hemisphere? You might have to wait a little while. <coughs> because watch this. Here's the comet, right? Right there. Watch as we, uh, um, as we start I increasing the days, you can watch, wait, let's just, uh, watch the comet go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right here, it dips below the northern horizon. Maybe at that point, maybe at that point, you, you maybe a few months down the road, you, well, it's going to be too too faint. At some point, you should be able to see it. I'm just not sure when. 
if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. But just ask Google when it will be available for viewing in your area. Excuse me, I'm so sorry I keep yawning and it's not even, uh, it's only a quarter after nine. My apologies. You guys want to see how much it's moved in? Watch there. <laughs> There's where it started at uh, uh, two hours and 45 minutes ago. This is the fastest moving comet I've ever seen. And now look where it is. From there, from there to there. I've never captured a comet like that before. That is the fastest moving comet I've ever seen. <coughs> And it's almost rolling right. I'm going to have to recenter it pretty soon. It's because it's rolling right off my, my field of view. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, we got 500 people watching right now. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. That's the comet way up there in the upper left. And if I put my mouse right next to it, watch... In only 15 seconds, you will see how much it's going to move again. Watch this. Do you see that? How, could, you, could you see how much it moved in 15 seconds? Watch it again. Here's another one. You can see that. I'm taking 15 second exposures and they're mo it's moving every, f within 15 seconds only you can see how much it moves. Yeah, I've never had a comet move la that fast before. That's why you can't take a, a, a very long exposure of this comet because if you do, the comet is going to be stretched because it moves that much during the exposure and it will come out a blur or elongated. Trying to get some kind of, okay. That looks pretty good right there. This is the first ever comet you've ever seen? Oh, okay. You're a young man, Lunar Eclipse. I know that. This is probably the third or fourth comet. I've uh, Maybe the fourth or fifth that I've, since I've been doing... There's usually at least one good comet a year. And this might already be the year's best. <laughs> Even though it's only January, I haven't heard of any more comets that are, that are coming that people have discovered yet. Excuse me. You can see I've got a little bit a little bit hazy out there, but I can still see the comet. That's my telescope. 
and I'm using a ring camera to see it with. I bought the battery uh, camera and uh, I bought the battery version so I didn't need a cord. That way I can just set the camera on the ground and get a live view where, wherever on the ground I want to place it. So I'm going to buy another one and put it on the, because uh, I usually run two scopes at a time. I, I didn't set up two scopes today because it's just too damn cold. Uh, but I'm going to get another camera so I can put it over here and point. This is pointing north. I want one that's going to be pointing south. So I'll have both, both, almost all the area of the sky covered. That's the plan. That's the plan, Jack. It's just above the Little Dipper, is it? Is that the Little Dipper right here? Or is that the Big Dipper? Is it visible in Mexico? I, I don't know. Let's see. All you got to do is Google. Let's Google it. Comet. Is it visible in Mexico? I'm asking Google. Google doesn't know. Let's, let's ask chat. Let's try some artificial intelligence to get an answer here. This visibility in Mexico would depend on several factors, such as the time of day, location. It would, it would be best to check local astronomy websites. So the, <laughs> the artificial intelligence says check check the astronomy websites. Nice try, Chat GPT, and this is the latest in in artificial intelligence. And it says to check some websites. Now that's funny. In not very smart chat GPT. Is it visible in Maryland? Yes, absolutely. Maryland is probably on the same level as where uh, Detroit is, almost. Just look to the north if you have a telescope. I tried to see it with binoculars though and I couldn't do it. I tried three times on this live stream and I couldn't do it. I braved the, the, the cold weather. It's uh, about, uh, how cold is it now? 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Whew. Well, I tell you what, anybody who wonders whether astro equipment can run in sub-freezing weather it's 18 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and my equipment is running like a charm. Even the surveillance camera is running like a charm. So there's, if anybody ever asks me, uh, def definitely I'm, I'm go I've gone all the way down to 18 degrees. And here is the comet right now as it makes its closest approach to Earth. I'm the best. I appreciate that. Visible in Denmark. Can you see it in Germany? Where's everybody from, by the way? I I, mean, I see Denmark. I see Germany. Georgia. Wow, we got 600 people watching us. I bet we got people from all over the world watching this. Denmark. Yep. Mich oh, Michigan. That's where I'm from. Pennsylvania. UK. Ireland, Germany, India, California, Texas, Bermuda, holy crap, Columbus, Ohio, Texas, Wales, Canada, yeah, okay, yep, Utah, Arizona, Colombia, Honduras, New Mexico, Michigan, Georgia, New York, holy moly, we, there's a lot of, uh, we got people from everywhere, Southampton, very nice. What's that? Algier, Missouri, Nepal, Maryland, Germany again. Savannah, oh, Savannah, St. Lucia. I used to have a friend named Rick Lucia. Astro Corona, I know you're from Canada. You're probably near Trevor. 
Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard. Denver, Canada. No, I don't know about if you're near him. Not all Canadians live near each other. But uh, Greece, Pennsylvania. Okay, I can't, I'm getting tired. <laughs> but thank you for telling me where everyone is at. And I am from I I'm from Detroit. Tucson, Arizona. The Evergreen State College. Mississippi, Scotland. All right. Wow. A lot of people from everywhere. <laughs> you guys still telling me where you're from? Okay, all right. <laughs> Again, uh, you want to see how much this comment is moving? Watch this. Here's my mouse. Watch it in relation to my mouse. This is only 15 second exposure, but watch how here's a new here's a new exposure coming up. 15 seconds. Did you see that? You see that? In only 15 seconds. That's how fast it's moving. That is crazy. I've never seen a comment move that much. Here comes another exposure. 15 seconds. See that? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Elbig, thank you very much. No, I never saw that. Maybe one of these days. I wish I did, but thank you for that donation. You guys got my donations up to $38 today. I appreciate that. And nine new members. I've had clouds for almost two months uh, before this week, and I was starting to lose members because I haven't been imaging. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> but finally, I'm back with, with this wave of new clear skies. Hooray. Is the picture smooth now? It seems like it corrected itself. It was a little bit choppy before. It seems like it's whenever when I close PixInsight, PixInsight is a real pig on my processor. It seems better now. It's visible in Mexico. Good to know. Oh, the clouds have cleared up again. So it's not supposed to really get overcast. Tobe Zone. You live in a Canton, Canton in Ohio. Where should you look? Look to the north about 60 degrees high. Look to the north about 60 degrees high. You might need binoculars, though. I, I tried with my binoculars, and I couldn't see it. But thank you for the donation, and, and thank you, Michael. For the dollar ninety nine, you guys got me up to forty two dollars and sixty cents today, and I have nine new members. Thank you very much. I appreciate that.
Here's the comet right here. That's what we're looking at right there, where my mouse is. And again, let me show you, if you're just joining us, this is how much it moved. <laughs> it's almost off the page. I'm going to have to recenter it. There's, there's where we started. And here's uh, three hours ago. And there's where it is now. Isn't that crazy? From there to there in three hours. Holy moly. That is crazy. Should I recenter it? I'd have to readjust it. I'd have to get new coordinates and put it back in the center. Oh, I got to get the current coordinates and readjust the whole thing. <laughs> it's flying off the page from there to there. Well, it doesn't pass that fast, even though it's at its closest point to Earth. It, it, it will still be in view for days, maybe weeks to come. I think I need to re readjust it. Hang on here. I need to... Wait. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. Comet Day 3, Part 2. I'm going to come up with a Comet Day 3, Part 2. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I have to get new coordinates for the comet. Hang on. Let me get new coordinates because it's going off the page here. Okay, not, not that. Okay, hang on one second. Comet. Okay, let me get... Uh... Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. 99, thank you. I, I do appreciate everything. Uh, okay, now let's uh, plug in these new coordinates. Plug in that. We're going to have to refine it. Okay, create sequence. Oops. Oops, so, so fetch. Okay, now it's in this part of the sky. Oops. So it's gonna be I'm gonna it's gonna be somewhere around there in the center. Okay, create that. Okay. Um Comet Day Three Part Two. All right. Hang on. It's because it's going off the page. I gotta rep I gotta capture a new part of the sky here. Okay. All right. So um, I gotta set up this. Hang on here. We're gonna readjust the telescope. Oops. No. 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 That. 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 Uh, fifteen second exposures. Let's capture 1,000. We won't make it that far. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the current sequence. We're done with this sequence because it's going off the page. I'm gonna uncheck that. I'm gonna keep that going. And uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see the the scope moving, but we'll because it's so close. Um, all right. I'm gonna say resume, and it's gonna start on the new location, and it should put the comet back in the center dashboard. Let's see if the comet, if this telescope readjusts itself. Did it already move? <laughs> it's so close together, we might not even see it moving. Tobe Zone, thank you. I don't think we can see it. It says it's slewing, but it ain't slewing by much. Okay, because it's so close. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. What photo camera? 
with 42 magnification work. I'm not sure how to answer that. Say hi to your girl. Okay, hi, Allison. Thank you, Michael, and hello, Allison. <laughs> what do you have that's 42 magnification, Tobe Zone? You have, are you talking about a telescope or a binoculars? All right, let's see where it puts the comet. Hopefully, uh, oh, we can't tell with this view, but hang on here. We're readjusting the telescope to put the comet back near the center. It's hard to see with this black view because I have it set up a little differently. But when this is done, we should see a new part of the sky with the comet in the center. So bear with me here. The, the telescope is readjusting. Cable of telephoto and long expo... Oh, capable of telephoto. Oh, I, I, I would try... Uh, do you want a color camera? I would try a ZWO, the one I'm using. A ZWO ASI, well... You could use a try it uh, the the same color camera I'm using the ASI five three three MZ but there's a thing called undersampling oversampling it's it's kind of hard to answer right now I would have to look into that okay let's see uh let's see here uh, all right so when it starts imaging again it did move the it did put the camera back or the uh, the comet back in the center. So we'll see. Uh, and guiding is resuming again. All right. Now we're looking at a new part of the sky, part three. Part two, I mean. So this is the third day I've captured the comet, and I'm on part two now of, the, of tonight. See that? Pretty cool, huh? We're back in the center. Kilo. Almost in the center. The coordinates from that website aren't always exact to put it in the center, but I've noticed that. But it's close. It's close. But in 26 minutes, I'm going to have to do an automatic meridian flip. You see, um, you got we got clouds here, but my telescope is going to have to switch sides in 26 minutes because the comet is going this way across the sky. And if my telescope keeps following it across the sky, it will eventually bang in to my tripod. So that's why you have to switch the telescope over to the other side. And that's going to happen uh, probably in about uh, 26 minutes. Twenty six million miles. Aaron Houdini, nephew of the great Harry Houdini. Hi, Harry. My procedure, I if you guys watched my last live stream, thank you for that donation, by the way. You, you, you uh, you got my donations up to, how much am I up to now? $51.66. Thank you. Yeah, if you watched my last live stream a couple days ago, I was telling people I had a, I have to do a, a colonoscopy. Um, just because I've never done one before and it's a good idea. I probably should have done one 10 years ago at the checkup. So I'm a little bit late. I did it this morning and... Uh, it was only a checkup. I have no symptoms of anything. So I was, it, they better not find anything wrong. And uh, they said, yep, no cancer. But I had five small polyps that they removed while they were doing the colonoscopy. And they'll send in the polyps, you know, to do the lab work and make sure they're not precancerous. But I think that's just a routine. And they said, I have to go back in three years, three years for another checkup. So my brother didn't have, doesn't have to go back for 10 years. 
I got I only got a three year clearance, probably because they found five small polyps. But you know what? Three years is fine. As long as they don't find cancer, I'm good. And they 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 chop out the polyps while they're in there, so it's all good, man. I survived. What amazes me is how fast they knock you out. It's like a it's like a space space time time warp. What do they call that? It's like you're going into a wormhole where time no longer exists. One minute you're in the, the procedure room, you're talking to a nurse, the next moment you're done and you're you're drinking up Pepsi and crackers and the whole thing happened and, and, and as if it was a split second. Okay. That's my colonoscopy story. <laughs> I'm just glad it's over with. I always get nervous. My blood pressure and heart rate were high because I was so nervous. What happened? Why did it end? Oh my, all right. I don't know why it does that sometimes, but look at my my mount. Some the clouds might have interrupted it. I'm gonna. You can see my mount is going back to the home position. I'll just restart it. Guiding. There may have been a, a problem with guiding. But you know what? When you're completely automated, that kind of stuff happens. I'll just restart it. I'll yeah, just restart it. Not a problem. I got a, it, the, the mount parked itself automatically. So I'll say unpark. And then I'm going to say, uh, oops, 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 oops. I'm going to say, turn the camera on and off because that gets confused sometimes. And then I'm going to say automatically, uh, I'm going to say center on the target. Center. All right. And now the, here we go again. We're point. We're going to go back to the comet. I should put that in writing. Where is the comet? Everybody keeps asking me where it is. It's to the north. It's to the north. I should put that on the screen. I love, you know, I just can't imagine being outside and trying to use a telescope. It's 16 degrees outside or 17 or maybe it's 18 degrees. I could never, I have to be able to control everything from inside the house. There's just no other way. You see that? I control it from my computer automatically. I don't have to be out in that bitter cold trying to readjust things. That's just can't do it. Now it's recentering itself. When this is over, this part is over, I'll start imaging again. But you can see a lot of clouds. I think it was the clouds that interrupted it. But that's okay. That's okay. It's not supposed to really get cloudy. <laughs> Even though it's getting cloudy now. It's not. Oh. It says it's going to be overcast by 10, 10 p.m. 15 minutes left. No. Why is it that I have the most concurrent users at the very moment it gets cloudy? <laughs> But don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna get this thing going again. We got we got time left, folks. Where were are you people an hour ago? <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the donation again, El Big. You guys are too generous. Okay, it found it. Even though the picture is kind of bright, you can see that it's because the clouds. Uh, let me look at the, the satellite real quick here. I can't believe this. I think it's going to be partly cloudy. I mean, here's where I am right where the mouse is. That's Detroit. We, we're still going to be, it's, it, we're going to get past this. It's just a few passing clouds. 
It's going to be clear again, so I'm not going anywhere. I am not leaving. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to kick off the auto-guiding again. All right, the auto-guiding is a bit, a bit fuzzy. We'll just wait for a little break in the clouds before we start. You see, when there's no clouds, the... Um, the uh, Do you guys hear a beeping or no? Do you guys hear beeping? When my... Yeah, I should turn that up. You guys probably hear it. When I have clear skies, these two lines up are stay up here. But when the clouds move in, you can see... Uh, it doesn't like what it sees in the sky right now. All right, so let's go back. There's the comet right there, by the way. I can even see it <clears throat> in my guiding software. All right, let's just try an image. Why not? Let's go for it, man. We're in it. We're going to capture the first. Look how bright it is. That's because the clouds. But I think the clouds are going to disappear if you guys will just wait it out with me. Okay, we got another image. There it is. There's a comet, man. We got it. We got it. We're still there despite these these awful clouds. It's just a matter of if my guiding can hold up. This is what keeps this software is what keeps the telescope on target. And right now it doesn't like all these clouds passing through. It's hard to, it's hard for it to figure out the a guide star to lock onto. When the clouds are, yeah, it doesn't like it right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause this so it doesn't try to abort itself automatically. And we're just going to wait for a little bit of clear skies. <coughs> When that stops beeping, can you guys hear it beeping even though I turn my volume down? Do you hear it beeping? When it flashes red, do you hear it? <coughs> I don't have control over these systems. You do? Oh, you don't hear it beeping? Okay. Okay, good. But you see the flash, that's okay. I just didn't want you guys to hear the um, annoying beeping. Right now we're battling clouds. But according to this satellite image, um, the, we're, we're, we're in this right here, right here, but they're going to pass. <coughs> I want to stay on this. See, there's just a little bit of the clouds are moving so fast. You can see how fast they're moving under surveillance. Do you guys want to call it a night? Or I'll stay on if you guys want me to stay on, but we're going to have to wait a few minutes for these clouds to pass. I'm willing to stay on. I I have nothing else going on. <laughs> I want to get a few more images of this comet. Don't go. No, don't go. You're here to stay? Cool. I'll stay. Oh, I, let me. If you haven't seen, I want to show you one more thing here. Um, in my last live stream, I was talking about this uh, black cat. While we're waiting, this black cat that always hanging out in my yard, 
And the very next morning, it showed up. <laughs> right on cue. That cat is always in my yard. It's like I have a pet. I, I, I always see it. But look it. It usually goes to, to the back of the yard, but it, it won't go on that snow. It doesn't like what it sees. Like, what the heck is this crap? So he's like, yep, forget it. I'm out of here. <laughs> Even the cat doesn't like snow. I thought that was funny. It's like, yeah. Oh, let's try and capture. I think it, uh, let's see if we can capture another image. It looks like the guiding is a little bit better. You can see these, when these lines go back up to the top, it's a little bit better, but I can tell it's, you can see with this, it's the clouds are still coming and going. Let's see the dashboard, but it looks like it's thinning out a little. I'm not just saying that. It does look like it's thinning. See over here, it looks a little better. Yeah, I like that cat. It does not mind the freezing weather at all. Well, it actually, maybe it does. It didn't like the snow. Um, do I cover my scope during uh, multiple sessions? Um, I used to, but I don't even bother anymore. If I don't think it's going to rain, I don't bother to cover it up. You know what? It's I was doing that, and I'm like, what the hell for? <laughs> if, if it's sunny out and I know it's not going to rain, nope, I don't cover them. When I If I have multiple cloudy nights, I do move them back into the garage, and I cover them into the garage because dust seems to gather really quickly inside that garage. But if they're outdoors, no. All right, we're imaging again, and there is the comet. We're back in business. Uh-oh, we got a, a spammer. We were doing good for a while. I got him. I got him. Yeah, it looks like it's clearing a bit. So we're back in business. And the guiding looks pretty good again. Not perfect, but I don't know if I'm really going to be able to keep these frames. You can see cloud is a little bit, it's kind of interfering with my images. Now you can see a little bit of cloud cover all over the image. It's not even. You see when that bright areas and then darker areas. So you can see it's struggling. And same thing here, bright areas, and you can see that this refreshes every one and a half seconds. We're still waiting for the guy. I better, I better put this on pause because the guy, when the guiding takes too long, it's going to abort my session. Hang on. Oh, it looks okay. Resume. All right. We're, we're imaging again. I 
more spammers. Why? 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 Gotcha. People ask, has it already passed? No, it's going to be around for... Uh, comets don't pass that fast. It's going to be around for days to come, but this is its closest point to Earth. The comet is moving fast, but it's going to be around for a long time. I mean, watch this. Here's the comet right now. And if we look at uh, the next day, it's a little bit higher. A little bit less bright, but it, see, it's still in the sky at a good location. It's getting a little more faint, but it will still be there for many days to come. Los Angeles, Canada. I have a bag of pens. Ah, I'm going to have some pens. Oh. Because I, I like candy. And I watched the uh, the Pez Outlaw a few days ago. So I, I want Pez. Uh, see, it influenced me to buy candy. I don't care about the dispensers. Although those can go for it. Those can get pretty valuable. There's the comet right here. We're battling a few clouds right now. Once, oh, look at that. I think once we get past this cloud, it looks like the rest of this is clear. You see that? There's my. I'm using a ring surveillance camera. Check that out. Good. Almost done. Those clouds are moving fast, though. The weather said it was supposed to be completely overcast by 10, but that's obviously not what it looks like. Nice, nice patch of clear sky coming. I'm glad I didn't leave yet. This should be clearing up soon. When the lines are up here, that means we have no clouds and the guiding looks good. This is what keeps me on target. These two lines should be going back up. Let's see this again. See, the clouds are going away. So that means the sky should be clearing. See, they're all the way down. So it's still... Still rough. Let me pause this for a second. I want to make sure it doesn't abort. I'll pause it myself. Let's just keep an eye on the guiding and watch these two lines go back up. They should be. There's no more clouds. I don't know what the hell it's looking at right now. Look at that. The clouds are gone. It refreshes every one and a half seconds. Come on, you can do it. The clouds are gone. Here, here comes the dark sky. It's right here. You see that? So these lines should be going back up. Come on. You can do it. The clouds are gone. What are you still blinking for? 
Yay. Oh, right, you see that? Big jump. See that? We're back in business. When the clouds go away, these lines should go, they should be right at the top. And you can see the clouds are gone, so I don't know what the heck it's, it's beeping about. See that? Okay, let's resume. We're back in business. You can see my last image was completely clouded out. We should see the comet again right now. Yeah, ooh, nice, very nice. Ooh, ah, we are back. There is the comet dead center. And I'm going to put my mouse right on it and watch how much it moves in only 15 seconds. You see that? Isn't that amazing? You, you, you see that little, that little burp, that boom. Let me take a look at the dashboard again. Sweet. Very clear. Going through a dither right now, but otherwise, I think there's a few more clouds um, that are actually above that we can actually see. So we might be waiting for some of those clouds, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. Here, watch this again. I'm going to put my mouse here now, right there. Just watch how much it moves. That's how, this is how fast it moves in relation to my mouse. <laughs> okay, now we're going to wait. We, we, here's the 15 seconds right now and watch this. Watch this. See that? How quickly it moves away from, that's how fast it's moving. Here comes the new image. This is the fastest comet I've ever seen. You see how quickly it's moving away from the mouse? That, that, that amazes me. I've never seen a comet move that fast. <laughs> Your first comet. Awesome. It wasn't that cool. I'm just, it's just amazing how fast it's moving. Oh, we only got a minute and 20 seconds. My mount is going to have to do an automatic meridian flip because uh, it's getting too there's it's it's getting too close to the tripod leg as it follows the comet across the sky. So it's going to switch sides automatically to this side and then repoint to the comet. So watch, we'll keep an eye out for that. It's going to happen in uh, 55 seconds. <laughs> And I'm eating Pez. <laughs> yeah, see, in 50K years, right. <laughs> okay, 24 seconds to the meridian flip. few straggler, straggling clouds right now, but, um, all right, <clears throat> minus six seconds, so it's going to flip now, okay, there it goes, Let's, I love being automated, I love watching this, you know, when you can, you're inside the house, and the equipment is doing what it's supposed to do automatically, the telescope is going to switch sides and repoint to the comet, I love this, as long as the, and it's working in, you know, 18 degrees Fahrenheit weather. Keep going. 
Isn't that awesome when the equipment works the way it's supposed to do? Completely automated? I love it. So now it re it's going to reposition the mount. Then it's going to do minor adjustments to find the comet again. Yeah. Okay, now the switch size. Now it's not pointing directly at the comet. It's got to... Is now it's got to do a few minor quirks to figure out where it's at. See, it performed the slew. That was the meridian flip. Now, the next step, it's got to automatically center. I don't know what I would do if I wasn't, you know, completely automated. Because it's just way too cold to be doing this. Man I used to do it manually when I first started. I had no idea how to automate it. But, you know, it, the more you do the... The more experience you get, the, you learn how to do stuff. Yep. Okay, now it's recentering. And um, it's already slewed, but I had to put a 30 second delay on step two because the mount would shake a little bit. So I needed to give it more time to settle before step three. And step three is what does the new exposure to figure out, okay, it's the th step three is where it takes a picture of the sky and then it matches that part of the sky to a database and then it can figure out where the comet is. So this is a, uh, it's probably going to come out too dark because of my settings, but that's okay. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, well, we can't see it that this screen is blocking it, but, but so far so good. Um, it found out uh, where it's at. It's going to, one more adjustment should do it. And then we're going to be watching the comet again. Kylie, thank you very much. Can you see it in England? It's three in the morning. Oh, I, I bet you can see it in England because England is more north than we are. So yeah, I would look to the north. Um, if you know where to look, it's probably, well, it's directly north in my location in Detroit. I don't know about England. But you should have a better, anything north, you should have a better view than I even have. But thank you for that donation. All right, I think, uh, let's see, um, hope one more adjustment. Okay. Did we just come across some clouds again? There might be clouds up there. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, I don't know. All right, so... Now it's going to restart the auto guider automatically. Okay, and it found a guide star. It's going to lock onto that for guiding. You can see it. You can still see a few clouds passing by. I think the clouds are above what we can see on my surveillance. Okay, it did it. It just uh, in ten. It, there's a little countdown there, and after that, it will restart imaging, and I didn't have to do anything. Isn't that awesome? The joy of being automated. All right, let's see where the comet is. It's hopefully, I knew it. Urgh. I have a problem. There is a problem. The mount. I, I used to think it was a problem with the website, but I think my mount doesn't automatically, when it flips sides, depending on where... I think because sometimes when I point t directly straight up, my mount has a problem. Finding and centering... So, it, finding and centering objects. It's, it's, it's It doesn't slew far enough, so... That's that. <laughs> Normally, it should have put the comet in the center. Or, or the fact that the comet has moved since I've been imaging, it, its location is no longer. I don't think that might. I don't. That might not be a problem with my telescope. The comet has actually moved since I last. Maybe that. Yeah, I think that's it. The comet has moved from the center that much. And so I'm still pointing at the same part of the sky. Sorry if I'm talking in circles. I'm trying to analyze a problem as to why it didn't put the comet straight in the center. But the comet has moved. I forgot it's moving so fast. It's no longer centered in that area. I'll stop talking now because I'm just confusing. 
I don't want to confuse people. But there's the comet. What if I did uh, medium? No, that's too much. Nope. Now we got 700 people here. I can't believe how many people are, are watching this. Thank you, Nevin. How often are comets visible from Earth? I usually think I, I think there's about maybe one good comet every year. I think that's what it comes to since I've been in this hobby. I'll put my my mouse right here. Watch how much it moves in relation to the mouse again. 15 seconds later. Did you see it? Did you see it move? That's how fast it's moving. Watch this again. 15 seconds later, a new exposure will come. Do you see that? Isn't that crazy? That's, that is just such a fast moving comet. What constellation? I don't know. What constellation is it in? Let's see. Here's the comet. Here's the constellations. It's right near this deer head. What constellation is that? Does anybody know what that is? I'm not good with constellations. Maybe we get, do we got any experts on constellations? <laughs> Camel Lepar, are you making that up? Is, or is it really? Camel, Camel Padaria, Camel Padaria. I, I don't even know what that, that constellation is, but thanks for looking it up. Camel, Camel Padarlius. I guess you're right. It went right to that. Yeah, you're right. That's it. It went right to it. Thank you. I swear I think I can almost see a tail. even in a 15 second exposure. Hey, thank you, Nevin. Was it last year or the year before we saw comment Neowise? Either a year or, or a year or two ago, it was faint, but comment Neowise was visible to the naked eye. I don't think that happens every year. Maybe every other year for Lucky. This one was supposed to be visible to the naked eye, but it's right it's so borderline that I haven't heard of anyone who's really seen it with their naked eye. Okay, you want to see how fast this is moving again? Watch this. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, here's my mouse right there. Watch, watch the comment move in relation to the mouse right there. I just this amazes me every time I do it. This is only 15 seconds away. 15 seconds later. You just oh wow, ma'am. You can see how much it moved, but we must have just got hit with clouds again because it became too bright. 
I mean, look at the, the dashboard again. Ah, just, just a few sporadic clouds. Hopefully the next image is better. Yeah. You can see it's partly cloudy. That's okay. You can see I got snow everywhere, but I at least I shoveled this area because I knew I was going to have to bring out my, my telescope, but we got a few inches on the ground still. By the way, everybody, um, make sure you subscribe to my site, <laughs> my, my channel. I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, by the way, I, I'm at 384. Let's get this to 400 at least. For anyone, I'm sure I've got people here who didn't subscribe. Let's get me to 400. Anyone who here who didn't subscribe yet? 400. 594,400. Five more people. Who hasn't subscribed? Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Five more people and I'll stop moaning. Four more. Four, I need four more. Two more, one more. Hey, thank you very much. You guys are awesome. All right. Thank you. I wanted to get to that 400 mark and you're still subscribing. You guys rule. I'll get this out of your face now. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, let's see, are we imaging? All right, we're back in business again. Waiting for the guider. Let's wait for this next image. Let me see the dashboard. That looks, sky looks really clear right now. All right, let's, I'm gonna put my mouse here because I, I love to watch this. Let's see how much it moved in a short period of time. For those who are just joining us, Did you see that? Okay, just as my mouse is the guideline. Now here we're gonna have, this is 15 seconds. We're gonna see another movement. Uh, it's just, it's mind boggling. You see that? That's how, that's why it's moving off the screen so fast. These are only 15 second exposures. Here comes another one. There, so you see, you, you got that ref. You can see it. It's heading right for this star, by the way. It's probably going to eclipse that star. I see it's heading in that direction. Uh, I, I think it's going to move. I think it's going in this direction. Let's see. Is it getting closer to this star or here? I don't know. It's going to be close. I think it's going to the tell the every five images the tell the the mount readjusts itself. So I got to wait about a minute. But it's definitely heading closer to that star, that background star. These stars are thousands of light years away, much much farther away than this comet. This comet is very local to Earth compared to these background stars. Patch, thank you very much, Patch. Thank you for, be for becoming a member of Astrophotography su uh, Support. I've had, you're the ninth person who's joined today. Thank you very much. If you're, if you're just joining us, we are watching the comet as it approaches that star. I wanna see if it's gonna eclipse that star. It's getting closer. 
You can see it. <laughs> I like to keep an eye on the clear sky. So far, it looks good. Renan, thank you for joining my uh, astrophotography support. I appreciate that. You're probably now my my tenth new member in this session. I just got a or eleven new members actually. Wow! Thank you very much. I was trying to see if this, if the comet was heading towards the direction of that star. Earlier, we saw the comet eclipse one star. Uh, I'm, I think it's going in this direction. We might clip it. <laughs> we might clip it. Here comes another exposure. I think, it, I think the comet is going this way. I was hoping it was going to run into that star. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going this way. <laughs> We're going to miss that star. But you can see how fast it's freaking moving. Isn't that nuts? I can't get over it. Oh, we got 635 people. Hello, 635 people watching. Yeah, we're gonna miss that star. I was, I thought I was gonna run into it. It's, see, see that how it's, well, it's getting close. Uh, excuse me. Jason, thank you. 499, do you know when is the best time to see it in Central Florida? I would think that this, I would say you should be able to see it right after sunset and follow it and follow it right across the sky. I mean, it's for me, uh, I mean, I know I'm very north of you, but as soon as it gets dark, did I get another new member, by the way? Leandos, thank you for joining Astrophotography Support. I think that's about 12 new members. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you very much. But Jason, uh, let's see, where's the comet at 7 p.m.? Because you're right, you're basically directly south of me, right? Yeah, I think you should be able to see it right after sunset to the north. It might be a lot lower for you, and then, but it will wait. It will work its way up. So definitely look after sunset for it. Thank you, everybody, for the, for the donations and the money, and the the chat revenue, and the new members that have joined. You guys rule. Yeah, yeah, we missed that star. The comet moved right, but it's moving right. We were over here, and the comet moved right past it. Here comes another new image, but you can see, uh, watch the comet in relation to that star. You can see it moving right past it. 
Oh, we're doing a, tele, a, a mount dither. We gotta wait for that. Oops. I had to get that out of the way. Oh, you don't see the comet yet? Chuck has the best coverage. Hey, I appreciate that. And thanks for being a member. Eyeless. This is a good reference right there. That star is a good reference to see how much the comet is moving. See that star? Now we're moving past it. And this is only this is only 15 seconds later and watch it again. You see that? <laughs> 15 seconds. Amazing. I'm glad I didn't leave yet cuz it was cloudy for a bit. But it looks like the the skies, the skies did clear up. Well, we got partly cloudy, but it's not that bad. Jason, thank you. It's about ten thirty p.m. there. Same here. Thank you for the donation. The heck did I just do? What star is that? Yeah, that's a good question. Let's see. Maybe we can see it in this. Uh, this shows too many stars. Oh, look. It must be... Uh... Oops. My camera is not rotated perfectly. Um, but So it's, it's, it's not lined up exactly the way the software is. But it must be this star right there. Uh, a star that doesn't seem to have a name. <laughs> but you can see it. That's got to be the star. There's the comet and here's the star. I don't know why this sopper doesn't show the name of the star. It just says type star without giving the name. Not even a catalog number. So it's a no-name star. Hmm. It's called Chuck. <laughs> Galactic Sith Alpha. I am fine. How are you? Phil, Chuck is not Google. Ask some of your questions. <laughs> yeah, right. That's okay. I don't mind, but thank you, Phil. I'm glad I stuck around because it said it was supposed to be completely overcast at 10 p.m. That was a half hour ago. Now it says it's not going to be overcast until midnight. Is it visible from Arizona? It, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's pretty high in the north for, for Arizona. Not quite as high as, uh, not as high as it is for me, but it should be visible almost directly north. Either so get your telescope out or binoculars. I didn't have any luck with binoculars. Maybe the moon is too bright I, I, and it's too cold outside for me to be out there long enough. But I, did, I went out there three times or four times with binoculars to try and see it. 
No luck. These are my binoculars. A small pair, but I bet if the moon wasn't out and it was a little warmer where I could have, you know, stayed outside longer, maybe I could have, maybe I could have seen it. Nobody has told me that they've seen it with the naked eye yet. The media has been promoting this comet. That's why so many people are watching this right now. I wouldn't normally have 670 people on a single stream. That's a lot of people. I'm eating Pez. <laughs> I like Pez. Name the star Chuck U Chuck YT. <laughs> Did you see that? We were watching this comet when it was way over here. And that wasn't that long ago. And it moved right past that star. I'm going to scoot my page up. It's getting a little too low. In fact, I can bring my... I can bring this back over here where it was before. <laughs> Real deal with Chuck. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Let's think outside again, by the way. I hope it's clear. Uh, more clouds. But let's, let's just see. Let me pull out my satellite. Okay. Look at how fast those clouds are moving. I'm right here where the mouse is pointing. So the clouds are coming on and off. But it's all partly cloudy. You can see it's nothing solid. So the clouds will come and go. You're photographing the comet, Brody? Oh, awesome. Elbig, thank you very much. Oh, that, oh, no, no, I didn't capture that. I didn't even know about it until after it had passed us. <laughs> but thank you for the donation. And Dan Man, thank you for becoming a, a member. Let me see my, oops, I want to see how many new members I've got. 13 new members today. You guys are amazing. This is crazy. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Remember when I was asking you guys to help me get to 400 here? Now we're almost at five. Is anybody on the stream who hasn't uh, subscribed to me yet? Help me get to 500. Help me get to 500. Anybody there? Subscribe and get me to 500 to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, and I'll stop moaning. <laughs> 11 more. That just need 11 more of you. I know there's, uh, we got 840 people. I know there's no way all of you are subscribed yet. Almost there, eight more. Oh, we're going to make it easy. Wow, we're going to fly right past 500. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, everybody. Thank you. Wow. 
Awesome. Holy moly. You guys rule. Thank you. <laughs> it's still going. Wow. 14, 15. It ain't stopping. 17. I can't believe you guys. You guys rule. I can't believe how fast that's going. Wow. Keep going, guys. I really appreciate that. And we're watching the comment right to the left of it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It's nice to have a lot of people subscribing. It helps feed my ego, <laughs> if nothing else. <laughs> it gives me validation. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Uh, it gives me validation. The more people that subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. 548. I think it's settled in around there. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kyle. You think you can see it? It's a bit dim. Are, are you using binoculars, Kyle? Thank you for that donation, by the way. Sorry if I'm sniffling and you hear that on the microphone. It's my allergies. Sub is free, guys. <laughs> That's right. You hope NASA hires me. Yeah. I tell you what, um, I'm, I'm kind of retired already. And I'm too lazy to have a full-time job. I do this as a hobby for fun. But it's nice when people contribute or they become members or they subscribe. It makes it more fun because it's always fun to have a bigger audience. Chuck is awesome sauce. We're still watching this comment. Now it's approaching this star. It moved way. This is the other the first star we were looking at. Now it's approaching this one. But I don't think it's going to really get close. I think it's, it's going to pass right through these two stars. Do you post a list of your equipment and the software? Somewhere for us members. Uh, do I do that? No, but I can start doing that on my posts. When I post pictures, I can I can certainly start doing that. I usually tell people what camera I used and what telescope I used. But in, in my older videos, if you see my astrophotography videos, I usually always post my equipment for everyone to see. In fact, I can, uh, I mean, you guys want to know all the equipment? Oh, look at, um, it turned white because I just got hit with the cloud. Let's take a look at the dash cam. Uh, okay, these clouds are going to pass. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to react like that, but that's what clouds do to me. But they'll pass because I still see clear skies coming. It's on and off. Dan Man, thank you for that donation. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm looking for something here. Just if I can show you my, the equipment I'm using. Is it here? Yeah, this is it. I want to show you. This is all the equipment I'm using right now. I'm going to post it for you, for all you guys. What I'm using on this, I'm going to post it. Uh, 
I don't know if I can post it all here. Uh, <laughs> might be kind of weird. Look weird. This is what, that's all the equipment I'm using on this comet. It's bright again because we're just waiting for those clouds to pass. Excellent, Lunar. Let me see the satellite again. Where is the satellite? Well, here's the, here's the cam again. I think we're, we just got to wait for these clouds to pass. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we got clear skies coming. Don't leave, everybody. After these clouds, we got another patch of clear skies. See that those clouds right there? They're not going to stick around. I'm, I say about five minutes. We just gotta, we're just, we're in wait mode. <laughs> I don't know where the where exactly the Philippines are lined up on the globe. So I'm not sure if it's visible in the Philippines. But I'm sure you can Google it to see if uh, this comet is visible there. Good question, though. A lot of people want to know if this comet is visible in their area. I'm still trying to adjust the picture because uh, we're battling clouds right now. But the comet is on its way in this direction and it's passing through these two stars if you keep an eye on it. <laughs> you can see uh, the clear skies are coming again. I can already see them. See the clear skies here? We just got to get past this latest wave of clouds. And I see all these clear skies. And, and like I said before, we're, <laughs> the comet is moving so fast. You can see that with each image I capture, it's passing right through those two stars. Watch, here comes another image. 50, I'm doing 15 second exposures. See that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
How do you become a member? If you're old enough, um, I'll show you. I know uh, if, if you're below a certain a minor or something, you, you can't become a member, but there should be, uh, you should, if you go to my YouTube channel, um, there's a join here, and you can join as astrophotography support for only 99 cents a month, and you get to use these cool emojis, but for four ninety nine a month, you get access to my high resolution images that I capture. You get my data to try your hand at processing. So yeah, you just got to hit that join button on my channel. 11 people, 13 people have already become members today. Is the sky improving yet? Oh yeah, look. <laughs> this latest patch of clouds is going away. Man, these clouds are moving fast too. But you can see clear skies again. I'm sticking around as long as I can. You know what? We might not see this comet again in our lifetime. So I want to say in 10 years from now, I was there. And I can watch, rewatch the video and say, yep. There's me enjoying this comet, and with everybody here, you can all say you were watching this comet 10 years from now. <laughs> you were watching it live. Oh, you can see the comet is now passing between. These stars are thousands of light years away. The comet is very close to us, but it looks like it's passing right through them. It is near Polaris. Let's see, where's Polaris? Yeah, here's Polaris. It's very near Polaris. Oh, I, I didn't even know Polaris is part of the Big Dipper. Or is that the Little Dipper? <laughs> I never even knew that. Here's the comet, and there's Polaris. Trying to adjust the, the contrast so we can see it better. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it, it's made its way past those two stars. That's how fast this sucker is moving. You're doing 30 second exposures, Brody? Okay, good. It's, it's fun to, to watch the comet when you have close stars nearby. Oh, let's see if we can see this in my planetarium software. The comet just passed through these two stars. It might not be lined up, but let's see if we see that. Oh, it doesn't show all the stars in this software. It shows the comet, but it doesn't seem to show those. It only shows one close by star. Oh, well, it doesn't have them all. Shame on you, Stellarium. Don, thank you very much. Could you post all the tracking and imaging programs you are using? You have a Celestron. Oh, okay. All of the the imaging software? Sure, sure, sure.
Post all the tracking. Yeah, the tracking is uh, here. I'll post it right now. Tracking. There's really not much to it. Uh, PhD two. PhD two. And this is the tracking software, by the way. The software that actually locks onto the star and it locks onto a star and keeps the mount from drifting away and keeping it on target. So it locks onto a nearby star. So that's the that's the tracking software or guiding software. And the imaging software. Sequence Generator Pro. But there's free software that people are using now for imaging. It's called Nina and it's free. I haven't I've been using Sequence Generator Pro for a long time. So I, I you know, you can't teach an old, an old dog new tricks. I'm happy, I know what I'm doing. But Nina is free if, if you're just getting started. Might be not, you know, to go with free software as opposed to paying for uh, Sequence Generator Pro. Those are the main two programs that I use for imaging. And then, of course, there's all the, the mount drivers and, the, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff you have to, other software that controls the equipment behind the scenes to, yeah. But thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate that. I'm going to scroll up. Let's put this. Now the comment is heading towards that star. Let me look at my dash. Oh, all right. Well, clear skies up until this new patch of clouds comes. I can already see it. You see it right there? I would be lost if I didn't have surveillance outside. Even though it's only what... Uh, What's the temperature outside? This, all my equipment, this might be the coldest I've ever used my equipment. 17 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got to be the coldest. And all the equipment is running fine. L Big, thank you again for another donation. I can't believe this. When the manned Artemis mission launches, are you going to live stream it? Oh, of course. But that's not even going to happen this year, is it? I, th I thought that was uh, next year. But I will certainly live stream it. That's fun. How are you keeping the stars still and the comment moving in your in the video below? Oh, uh, let me show you. I use software. Uh, oh, yeah. In the... What are we looking at here? Oh, and the, we're, the, are you looking at the comment two days ago? I have um, software uh, that it does a star alignment. So it takes the stars and it, it lines up all of the pictures based on those stars. And so when it lines up all the stars, the only thing else that um, it didn't line up on was the comet. So the stars are lined up in every picture from one picture to another. OBS kicked me out and then reconnected. But I was talking, um, a program called Star Alignment in PixInsight is what keeps the stars fixed and then lets you see the comet moving across. Yeah, it's back. OBS does that every once in a while. It, it, it disconnects and then reconnects. Thank you, Prada. Prada get BTC. Thank you very much. When do you <laughs> think it will pass Pennsylvania? At, it's going to pass Pennsylvania the same time it passes Detroit. 
Um, so you probably have the almost the exact same view I have in Pennsylvania, and it's uh, very high in the north right now. It's, uh, well, it's not that high, actually. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, about 45 degrees high in the north. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong day. Uh, it's very high, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's 62 degrees, 64 degrees high in the north right now. So you have the same view I have. You can't wait to see more. I'd like to work on a very, see I've already done that uh, time lapse where it says uh, Comet two days ago. I'd like to try a still image if, and see if I can pick up that tail with the data I collected today. I don't know when I'll, I'll have to learn how to process comets though. That might be a little time consuming, but if I don't have anything better, I, I got a few errands to run tomorrow, but we'll see. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. This might be the most people we've had watching already, 867. I'm glad I didn't go anywhere. I'm glad I can stick around and show people the comet as it makes its closest approach to Earth in 50,000 years. That boggles the mind, those time frames. Thorico, thank you very much. You just want to say thank you for sharing your data with us. Oh, nope, my pleasure. Especially for those of us who won't get to see the comet with the naked eye. My pleasure. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. You guys, my chat revenue is over $100, by the way, and I have 13 new members today. What a crazy day today is. I didn't know it was going to be this active. But what happens with an event like this is the media lets the world know, hey, look, there's something unique. Because, you know, astrophotographers by ourselves, we can't tell everybody. We don't have that kind of access to say, hey, look, there's a... There, there's something special happening here, but the media does the work for us because they, they need stories and okay, now they're writing about this comet. So that's how everybody knows about it. Oh, you got to go? 
All right, I'll see you later, cool. Uh oh, I got a sneeze, hang on. It's gonna be a big one. <laughs> you know, it went away. I didn't want to spit all over the camera if I sneeze. I don't get any tissue here with me. <laughs> Where do you get Nina from? I don't know. Where did we get her from? Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, this looks like it. I'll post a link. Yep, I found it for you. Here's the link for Nina, free imaging software. I don't use it, but other people love it. I think my friend Andrew McCarthy, his Twitter, I don't know if you saw, <laughs> posted a Twitter, uh, and I got an alert on my screen. <laughs> when will you live stream again and on what? I don't know. Are you guys, I've already live streamed twice on this comet, so I don't think I'm going to do that again. I think we, I think we got a good view of this comet already. I don't know what more I can really add to this, but I was I would like to do solar. I would like to view the sun because the sun has been so active, but my solar equipment doesn't really run in this freezing weather. So when it gets a little warmer, but when the moon goes away, I can I can do deep sky. Would you guys want to watch me do deep sky like on the Horsehead Nebula or stuff like that? Maybe not quite as exciting as a comet flying by, but you know. I don't know if I'll be live streaming again this week, though. Yeah, okay. Deep Sky, yeah. I I, I love doing Deep Sky. I've done Deep Sky many times, and a lot of times, let's go look at this object. Let's go look at this Deep Sky, and I, I would capture 10 different objects in a single night. So that's always fun. So I can definitely do that. So make sure you guys subscribe, and we will browse the skies. Deep Space. See, if you're a member, you can do what uh, Jason Finch is doing. Those are some of the emojis you get. Uh, telescope. There's a, a funny picture of Elon Musk. <laughs> I saw that on another site. They were using Elon Musk as an emoji. I thought, oh, that's hilarious. I'm going to put that on mine. Yeah, there's Brody is showing you all the emojis you get when you remember. <laughs> Thank you, Brody. Uh-oh. Are we on a collision course with this this the comet and this star? I want to see the comet eclipse a star. Wait, let me see and there's no clouds coming. Let's see if this Let's see what direction the comet is moving in. Here comes an exposure coming up. This is the green bar that shows you the next exposure. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's see this again. Is it going in that direction, right there? Let's see. Yeah, it is. Hey, we're gonna see an eclipse of that star. <laughs> I love seeing stars get run over. Okay, keep watching, folks. The comet is going to run over that star. The star is thousands of light years away, by the way. And the comet's close, but it still looks like it's going to engulf it. These, these kind of events make me happy. <laughs> and there's no clouds to ruin it. Okay. Yeah, definitely on a collision course. Beware of wind, 10 miles per hour. Uh-oh. I can handle about 10 miles per hour. Over 10 miles per hour, it starts to get dicey. Okay, here comes another exposure. We got 913. Everybody, if you're just joining us, here's the comet, and we're going to engulf this star in a second. That's how fast the comet is moving. That's up. Oh, it's getting closer. A few more images. <laughs> Almost there. No, it's not going to miss it. I think it's on directly on target. Oh, yeah, you might. It might skim it. You're right. I don't know. The comet is, the, the moon is getting brighter and it makes things more difficult to see. I might skip tomorrow. What the heck is this? What is that? A squiggly line. It's gone now. I wonder what that was. An alien, yeah. I had to go back and look at that image. That was weird. I never seen a squiggly line like that. UFO. What frame was that? Oh, yeah, the star is going. I think it was frame 193. I'm going to go back and look at that. I just want to see this the, the comet engulf that star first. Then we're going to go look at that, that UFO. Stay tuned, folks. We just saw a UFO. <laughs> oh, it, it's clipping it. It's clipping the side. That is amazing. Every 15 seconds, that comet is moving. Starlink doesn't really look like that. Starlink would... Satellites look like straight lines. Yeah, we... <laughs> we got it. We ran over that star. And there's the star peeking, peeking through right there. Let's see one more. Yep, now you can see this. I want to go back and, and see what the heck that was. Was it image uh, 193? No, 194?
Yeah, that's it right there. What the heck was that? 200, this. <laughs> I've never seen uh, a squiggly before. What could have caused that? I don't know. Or you can't see that, can you? Here, let me move it up. This, right there. Right there. We saw it for a 1 15 second exposure. It's not like there's any insects out there in that cold, like a firefly or something wouldn't have done that. There's no insects. Oops, 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 where'd it go? That I would not know. Yeah, a, a snowflake? A snowflake that was flying around, maybe, and got reflected in the light? Yeah, very strange. I, I, now, that's something I haven't seen, because I'm normally a plane or a satellite. They, they appear as straight lines. I, I never, ever see a squigglies. Very interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to remember that picture. I'll analyze it another time. It's a, so right now we will say it's an unidentified flying object because I don't know what it is. <laughs> I wouldn't even. The only thing I can think of is maybe it was a, a, a runaway snowflake and it got picked up as a reflection. <laughs> You'll blow up on Reddit. UFO captured! And actually, you know what's funny is, why don't guys like me ever see UFO? And someone said, well, that's big. we don't see UFOs because we know what we're looking at. <laughs> Black Neutron Star? <laughs> A pulsar. One time I tried to report a pulsar to uh, NASA. They said, no, not quite. <laughs> oh, well. Did you guys see? I, I showed you guys this and if you were watching the last live stream, but I got a lot more people here. I am in um, Sky and Telescope. You see Sky and Telescope? This is the February issue, and I, I, I know I've shown a lot of people this already, but they printed a full page on the cosmic question mark that I captured. Can you see that? I don't know how well that will show up in my, uh, there's the cosmic question mark. Full page of one of my pictures, and it has my name, Chuck Yehum, in the description there. I thought that was kind of cool. Sky and Telescope. That was the February issue, and in the February issue of Astronomy Magazine, they posted one of my pictures, uh, the, the Pac-Man Nebula. So in two February issues I, I got in magazines. I think that's the first time in the same month. Anyway, I'm bragging, but you have to do a little bragging when you get magazines. What's, what's, what's the point if you don't? <laughs> Astron <laughs> it's embarrassing, but Astronomy Magazine sends you at least something. A little quickie, $25 check. Sky and Telescope didn't even tell me I was in the magazine. And I don't subscribe to the magazine either. Somebody else told me, hey, did you know you're in that magazine on a full page? Like, no kidding. Thank you. It would be nice if they at least told me I was in the magazine. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. 
I try to read chat, but there's too many messages. Someone says, this guy never reads chat. I'm trying. <sighs> they just, no, they didn't steal my photo. I do submit this stuff, but I submit my stuff to some, uh, Sky and Telescope, but since I don't subscribe to the magazine, I don't know if I ever get in the magazine. They, it would be nice if they had told me, or otherwise I would have just not even known. Is this a live feed? It is indeed. Watch if I put my mouse right here, you will see the comet moving. Here comes the next exposure. Here comes, boom. I'm taking 15 second exposures. Did you see it move? And we saw the comet run over this star just recently. It wasn't that long ago. So this is definitely a live feed. The problem is though, when the feed is over, the live stream, people watch it thinking it's still live. And then, that, and then they actually get mad at me because they can't participate in the live chat. And you're like, I'm unsubscribing. Screw this. I don't know what. And like, the stream is over. That You wouldn't believe how often that happens. But, oh, well, it is what it is. Thank you. I appreciate that. I got the sniffles. I have allergies and I haven't taken Benadryl in a few days because I had a colonoscopy. I didn't want to take anything. You know, I should probably take a couple of Benadryl now. There's nothing, uh, nothing stopping me now. I'm going to get a glass of water. I'll be right back. You know, when I walk out there, I see my dad's room and he passed away. So I, I kind of, I still feel bad about it. I used to keep an eye on him. If you ever watched my live streams a long time ago, I, I always had surveillance on my dad because we were kind of worried that he would wander off. So it's still getting used to that. But he made it to 89. So, hey, a lot of people don't make it... Four weeks shy of his 90th birthday. A lot of people don't make it that far, so it's hard to complain. He lived. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can you explain about this comet, please? Well, I can tell you it's moving very fast. And it hasn't been seen in 50,000 years. That's the last time it made an approach to Earth, and not, we're never going to see it again. Thank you. I appreciate that, Corinna. <clears throat> it takes a while to get used to. I just try not to think about it, because then I, I start feeling bad. But, you know, you can't help it. It's all around. Where can we see, can, when can we see the comet in Egypt? 
I would check Google if it's... I don't, see, I don't know where Egypt exactly is in relation to me. All I know is that it's north in Detroit. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Thanks for putting this one on for us. Best live stream of this comment. Wow, thank you. Best live stream of this cosmic event that you could find. Watching from New Mexico. Thank you very much, Justin. I do appreciate that. Right, Brody. I caught something in the Whirlpool Galaxy I made a, a short video on. And... Uh, Nobody really agreed on what that was. It was it was a star that came and went, and nobody really knows what happened. Um, it could have been they think maybe it was a luminous blue variable that gets bright and then it disappears again, or was it the collision of two stars? It wasn't a supernova. So that's one thing I captured that nobody could agree on. I didn't discover it, by the way, but I, I I just happened to catch a before and after. I was lucky enough to do that. Thank you, F four O M, F four F forty, F forty M District Photography four ninety nine. I appreciate that. F forty M. That sounds like a radio station almost. I need a bathroom break. I've been sitting here for a while. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> hey. All smiles from Karina. Oh, Karina, sorry if I mispronounced that. This is a much bigger event than I thought. I didn't know that 700 people would be tuning into this. That amazed, I'm really surprised at this. We hit 1,000 at one point, but I know it's starting to get late for some people.
It's a shame that YouTube has given traffic to, to other people who are basically faking the comment live. There's this one guy, every time there's a comment, he uses the same stolen video of a comment. He doesn't care if it's the real comment or some other comment. And YouTube just lets people go to that site. That's a shame. Although the, I report this guy's videos every time I see him. He knows who he is. But the good thing is, YouTube um, disabled his ad, so he's not able to make money at least. So I don't know why he's wasting his time anymore because he was totally in it for the money to just keep posting fake science videos. He's a loser. He's the reason people think space is fake. Yeah. And if he were watching this, he would know I'm talking about him. Yep. Let's see the... See, I'm right here in Detroit, and it said it was going to be overcast, but look at these clouds are flying right past me so far. These clouds up here might finally get to me. I don't know. Hello from the Philippines. Yep, that's the guy, Kyle. Yep, that he does the same thing. As if that's Betelgeuse, he does the same fake comments. Everything on his website is fake. That's the one. You got it, Kyle. Don't say his name on here. I don't want to I don't want to give him any attention. But every time I see his videos, I I report them to YouTube and say, "Look, this is fake and it hurts the real people who who are doing real stuff on YouTube." Elbig, I am going to stay on until until I fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know. I'm surprised we got so many people watching. I don't want to. I don't want to really want to leave. But right now, it says it's supposed to be overcast, but it isn't. It's clear at the moment. I have to keep readjusting my screen because the comet is going towards the edge of the screen. <laughs> Let's hope it holds out. I'm with you. This might be the last night I capture this comet. Because um, tomorrow, the moon is just going to keep getting brighter, and it's going to make it harder to really get good image of a... Let's see what the moon is. Um, what? 88% right now. Tomorrow, it will be 94% illuminated. And the brighter it gets, the harder it is to really see cool objects. So I might take a day off from imaging for until that moon is gone. But you know what? Today was the important day. We got the comet moving, and uh, it's it's at its closest approach to Earth right now. Screw the moon, yeah. <laughs> Screw the moon. Crypto, thank you very much. Hiya, I don't know how you did that. <laughs> thank you, though. You guys have, uh, the chat revenue, you guys have donated $125. It all goes towards new equipment, guys, so I, I do appreciate that. The moon is only cool if you're looking at it, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
It's the real Pax. Yes, Lunar, it's the real Pax. But let's not mention his name again. He's not allowed on this site. Everything he does is fake. Astronomy lover, hey, you're back. Has it passed it? No, it hasn't passed it. But let's take a look at something here. Is, is it at its brightest still? Okay, let's see. Oops, words, comet. Okay, 5.46. Wait. Okay, it has reached its optimal brightness. Let's see. Actually, the media reported this as a February 1st event, but it was actually brightest on uh, January 31st. So 24 hours ago, it was at its brightest, although it might be at its closest to Earth today. So it, it, that can happen on two different days. So yesterday was its brightest. Today is its closest, to point, er, closest point to Earth. And that's the glory days are over after today. But you know what? It's, it, if you want to look at the comet tomorrow, not much is going to change in one day. So you still have time. So that's, that's the thing. It was the brightest yesterday, closest approach today, and tomorrow it's on its way out of here. <laughs> but not by much. Don't worry. You can still see it tomorrow. But the moon will be even brighter tomorrow, making things a little bit... The, it might make the tail a little more hard to see if you want to process it, capture and process it. So it's, it's just not easy. The moon in my location, plus the snow on the ground that amplifies the brightness, really makes it difficult for me. So even if I process it, I really don't know if I'm going to pick up much of the tail. So in my images, all I can see mostly is uh, that the bright core, like you see in this, uh, when I captured it two days ago, you see that bright green comet going across the screen. You know? Right there, yeah. I'm still eating pets. It's not good for me to be eating so much junk. I have a dentist appointment next week for a checkup, too. I better start flossing. <laughs> I do a mad dash. Scrap, floss, floss, floss. Colonoscopy this week. Checkup for the dentist next week. My lights keep turning off. These are automatic lights. I'm not sure why they keep they keep going out on me. Marshall. Thank you, Marshall, for that donation. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.
Oh, someone's leaving. Where are you going? Bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining, though. I appreciate it. Redistrict. Thanks for the help. You tried to see in Philly, but definitely not happening. Oh, you must have clouds or no. Always have a chance 50,000 years from now. Don't worry. Thanks for that. But you, you try again tomorrow. It's not going to be much different tomorrow, except the moon might. Well, the moon's going to be brighter. That never helps. <laughs> or you can wait 50,000 years. This is the third day I've actually captured the comet, so I captured it um, tonight. I did it um, yesterday, but I didn't live stream it because I was doing the prep for the colonoscopy, and I was running to the bathroom about every 10 minutes, so. <laughs> Are you keeping track, Jason? Thank you very much for that donation. Let me see. Am I at 135? I'm at 140 now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jason. I appreciate that. All this money goes towards new equipment. You guys are too generous. Anthony. The moon has no name. Once I say, once you say moon, I'm wrong. The truth is different than thought. <laughs> Yeah, how come we didn't give our moon a name? We just call it moon. But Jupiter has moons, and they each have names. But ours is just the moon. <laughs> the moon. I made a video one time on who named planet Earth, and uh, no straight answer on that one. But we all call it Earth. Luna. There you go. Luna. Doesn't that just mean moon in another language? Is Luna moon in another language? I don't know. Or is Luna... I don't know. I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Space nerd, twenty dollar, uh, twenty. I'm not sure what uh, country that is, but thank you. You got my donation up to one hundred and forty-five ninety-seven and ninety-seven cents. I don't. I think that twenty dollar or whatever that is equates to about thirty cents, or twenty cents. I'm not sure, but thank you anyway. Rupees. Oh, is that rupees? Gotcha. Thank you very much. Could you donate uh, about a million rupees though? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Euros. <laughs> oh, now we're back up to six hundred four. Wow. Let me see, how's the, how's the freaking sky look right now? Reconnect. Oh, another donation. I like to call these out because it's very generous of you guys. Monetarian Young. 
$1.99. Thank you very much. I'm up to $148 now. You guys rule. I don't know what to say. You guys are too... And I have 14 new members today. I don't know what to say. You guys are so cool. Um, and... Remember when I was trying to get people to 594,400? Now we've got an additional 300 people have subscribed. It was a, it's a big day for new subscribers. Thank you very much. It was a great day. I had no idea there was going to be this much interest in the comet. But like I said, astrophotographers like us can't get the word out. But when the media is looking for stories to write about, they play it up. A comet hasn't been seen in 50,000 years. Okay. Thanks, media. And that helps us out. Dystopian. Thank you very much. Can you see it with a, a Galilee scope in Jersey? Yeah, I think any scope, if you have clear sky, should be able to see it. I tried to see it with binoculars, though, and it was just too cold for me, and I was shaking outside. I couldn't see it. The moon isn't going to help you, though. It's very bright. Thank you for the donation, by the way. I'm up to $150. I'm dithering. Brody, I'm not losing the guide star. Every five images, I'm, I'm dithering. So when you stack images, you don't get the walking noise in your image. The scope... The mount repositions itself a little bit every five images I have it set for, and that helps the background. So I'm now actually losing the guide star. Ditto, $2. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck, for this. New subscriber here. Awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And another... Another new member. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for joining, uh, Beecher. I now have 15 new members today and $151 in chat revenue, $152 in chat revenue. I am speechless. You guys rule. And we still have 700 people watching, even though it's starting to get close to midnight in Detroit. What, Brody, what do you mean you keep losing? You see, it does a dither right here. It does the automatic dither. Every fifth image I have it set for to do a dither, and then it readjusts the guide star to move the image a little bit. And that helps the background. Oh, you keep losing the guide star. Oh, sorry, I misread it. <laughs> you keep losing the guide star. I forgot you're imaging too right now, but I don't know why you're losing your guide star. Is it cloudy or hazy? I, I wish I could help you on that. How is Saul, Chuck? Who's Saul? Better call Saul. Oh, we're back to this Luna thing again. Luna is moon in Spanish, so same thing.
How's my brother? Oh, Randy Martinez and Monetarian. Oh my gosh, four ninety nine Monetarian and Randy nine ninety nine. This is amazing, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I was reading texts while these were going on. My brother is sending me texts, but I, I appreciate this, guys. Four ninety nine and nine ninety nine. You guys got my chat revenue up to $167. I can't believe this. You guys are too generous. I'm sure glad I didn't leave. <laughs> I'm staying on this comet, this once-in-a-lifetime comet for as long as I can, because I don't know if I'm going to be back to it. I've already captured it three nights in a row. Now I just got to go play with the data. And this is the, this is the the animation you see, uh, that where it says comet two. That was the first night I captured it. Oh, your guide scope may be out of focus. Ah, that's that's good, Brody. Is it? You would know if the stars look bigger or not. If the stars look too big, it's probably out of focus. Monetary and Young? Did you just donate another four ninety nine? Yeah, you did. I'm up to $172 now. You guys, that's amazing. I can't believe what's going on. Thank you very much. I'm speechless. And we just saw that my members were at 700 uh, just a few minutes ago. Now we've already got 47. Is there anybody that hasn't subscribed yet that will help me get to 800? <laughs> you guys helped me get to 400 not that long ago, and now it's already getting close to 800. Has anybody not subscribed yet? Help me get to help me get to uh, to 594,000. 800 subscribers. There's the comment right next to my count. We're stuck on 747. Has anyone not subscribed yet? Oh, now it's 58. That was a big jump. Monetary and Young, you keep sending me money. I can't believe this. I'm at $175, it says. <coughs> You're amazing, man. Thank you. 762, trying to get to 800. There it goes. <coughs> ah, excuse me. You just subscribed. Thank you, Joey. Lourdes. Lourdes Cas Casanova, 99 cents. Thank you very much. I'm up to $176 and... Going on 800 subscribers here. 594,781. I need 16 more. Seven, uh, 15 more. Jason, let's get Chuck up to the stars. Wow, thank you, Jason. 499. You got me up to $181. That's amazing. You guys rule. And, uh, And I'm almost at 800. 11 more subscribers, guys. Help me get there. How, who hasn't subscribed yet? I want to get to 594, 800. Nine more to go, and I'll stop bothering you. <laughs> All right. Six more, five more, four more. Awesome. Thank you. Seven... Oh, oh, we just jumped to 800. Six. Wow. Brent. Chuck, multiple astrophotographers reporting possible breakup of the comet nucleus, including Andrew McCarthy. Can you see? Oh, my gosh. You're kidding. Wow. I don't think I can see it that clearly. This, you guys, thank you very much for helping me get to a... And thank you for that donation, Brent. I'll take a look in a moment, Brent. And right now, there's so much going on right now with uh, Lord S. Casanova, nine ninety nine, Montarian Young, four ninety nine, 
Jet Jet five dollars. Holy moly. You guys got me to two hundred and ten dollars now. That's amazing. And eight hundred and eighteen subscribers. The comet is breaking up. No, no, no. Let's let us see. Wait, let, let's let's do this. I can't see it that I can't see it in detail with this. I think I would need a, a bigger scope. I'm not sure. It's it's just too bright. Is there clouds that are messing me up? Let's see. No, it's so bright. Low. Hang on here. Let's see if the comet is breaking up. Now let's let's zoom in really. Let, let's let's zoom in here. But thank you everybody for all those donations. I can't believe it. I don't know if I have enough resolution to be able to see that. I wouldn't. I don't have enough resolution. I wish I did. Unless unless they're seeing the breakup in the tail, which is too bright, it's too faint for me to see in a single exposure. I'll have to process this data later. And maybe I can see something interesting. But thanks for the warning. Mindy, $20. Thank you, Mindy. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I can't believe this. Thank you very much, Mindy. I'm trying to get it back to where it was here. Wait, oh, let me, uh, $20. I'm going to show you guys. Wait, um, hang on. Let's get the comment back here. I wish I could see it if it was really, I've, I've captured a comet before that died before it reached the sun. I think that's, uh, I think we got it right there. Um, but yeah, I wish I could see it breaking up. That's wild. Maybe when I finally put a time lapse together. I just wanted to show you because you guys have been so generous. Um, you guys have donated $230 in chat revenue. Sorry if I'm breathing too, uh, I'm, I'm nasally because of the allergies. 230 in chat revenue and 15 new members today. You guys are amazing. So thank you very much. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that. That's very sad that the comet would be breaking up, but I can't see it in that kind of detail. I was looking at it. Hmm. I wish we could see that. Let me see if... Uh, I don't have enough resolution on this scope to be able to see it in that kind of detail. Sure. 
Should I do a longer? Well, or is the comet just moving so fast that his exposure is too long? The exposures are, that they're taking are too long, making it appear as though the comet is breaking up? Or maybe it really is? I wish I knew. I'm going to have to look into that, that the comet is breaking. Morgan, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you again, Morgan. Right. Uh. It's definitely picking up speed, so it could be breaking up. I wish I had a more powerful scope. Excuse me for the belch. I I apologize. This is not an I, I I if I was using my most powerful scope, maybe we'd see the core in detail. Well tell you what, let's try something here. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Let's see if we can see the breakup at all here. Wait, if it's, I'm going to open up uh, PixInsight here. I know PixInsight, bear with me. PixInsight's a pig. It likes to eat up my, if I get stuck, let's see if we can see this comet. Let's see if we can see the core. See, I can't do a picture longer than 15 seconds because it's moving too fast. Or it becomes it it it, it won't be a, a true image. I have to keep it down to. Um, let's see. Let's see. Documents. Documents. Uh, data. We're gonna see if we can see any detail here. Oh, I don't think we can see it in this kind of picture. Hmm. It does look kind of evil. It's hard to know if it's because of the movement or not. Very interesting. Very interesting. That that's not that wouldn't tell us enough. Jason. Jason, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I wish I could. It's 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 a it's a big job to to take one telescope off and put another on especially in this cold weather 499 thank you thank you thank you jason but i should do that i or i should have a i should just have it complete and ready to go regardless i wouldn't even have to change mounts that's what i should do kc 20 dollars holy crap that's unbelievable thank you very much it's unbelievable And now you guys have got me up to, I can't believe it, $261. Oh, that, that includes uh, Redistrict. Wow. With the 261. Successfully spotted in Philly? You got it? Asked a neighbor to turn, oh, you asked a neighbor to turn out the, the light. I don't have the, the, the nerve to do that with my neighbors. And you covered your eyes for 10 minutes before looking again. Congratulations. Wow. Good night. Thank you very much. He got it. He saw the, saw the comment. <laughs> Not bad for five. If I've been going for five hours, I didn't even know that. Oh, my gosh. You're right. Five hours. Two hours. Two days ago, I did six hours. 
I did not expect to to to, to be going this long. <laughs> If it's dark in Arizona, you should be able to see it. You should see it high in the north. I still have clear skies. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! What is going on? Here's where I am on the on the map. So I still have clear skies. Am I going to have clear skies indefinitely? <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me, everybody. I, you, you've, uh, I didn't think you would last this long. <laughs> I didn't think I would last this long. But we still have 600 people on here. It's so fun when you have this many people. You're buried under those clouds. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's Indiana. Aren't you like um, directly that Indiana right here? Here's Ohio. And I think indeed that's indeed is that Indiana? I think that's Indiana right below. Yeah, you you're getting hit. What star is it closest to? I don't even see any stars that close at the moment. It looks like it's surrounded by a, I wonder if this bright star, let's see that bright star. Let's see if we can see that in Stellarium. Here's the comet, wait. It was either this star or this star. Either way, either star doesn't really have a, a specific name to it. So it's probably really not that bright. Yes, it's still very high in the north for me. And no clouds in the sky. If you're wondering, this chair is holding up this tile to block my neighbor's um, backyard light from going this to keep it a little away from my telescope. That's why you see this this chair here and that board there. Oh, you can barely see it behind the uh, my comet animation, but yeah. If it looks kind of ghetto, it's it is kind of ghetto. <laughs> it's just to help me block my neighbor's lights. Are you able to see it in your PA? Um, I'm not sure exactly. I don't know. I, uh, I think you can see it anywhere um, in the United States. Huh. 
Is it by Draca? I don't know. What's Draca? You guys are asking me all these questions I can't really answer here. <laughs> Draco? I don't know what's Draca. <laughs> Wiping the sleep away from my eyes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, the difference is Haley's Comet returns every 76 years. This comet ain't coming back again. But if the comet is breaking up, it's definitely not coming back again. That happens a lot with comets. That they break up when they get closer to the sun. I mean, they're just giant ice balls. Draco is near New Mexico. Is that what you're saying? I thought you were referring to a place in the sky. Sorry about that. Uh oh. This is no help. I need a banana break. Oh, it's past midnight and we're still imaging. I can't believe this. I started imaging, I think at a quarter to six because I thought I would be done by 10 o'clock because the weather said it would be, <laughs> the weather said it would be cloudy and I trusted it. And now it's closer, it's after midnight, and I'm still going.
I'm still live. And, and there's still 700 people here. What's up with that? <laughs> people want to see this, this once in a lifetime 50,000 year comet at its closest point to Earth, which is right now, actually. Oh, and now it's raining. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm going to get hit with more clouds. Uh, uh, so far, so good. I can see a little bit of haze, but eh, not too bad. You're going to bring out the 127 EQ. Cool. You're the man, Chuck. I appreciate that, Fred. Fred Zeppelin. Now, that's a cool name. I guess anything with uh, Led Zeppelin with Led Zeppelin is, is cool. From Georgia? Uh, you can see this comet anywhere in the United States. But you might need binoculars or a telescope because I haven't heard of anyone who has seen it with their naked eye. Well, shall we stack three images together? And let's see, maybe we can see. I wonder if we can see it breaking up. Let me see. Let's stack three images together. If it's supposedly breaking up. Let's pick uh, this. Pick th these three. We're going to combine three pictures together for to give us forty-seven seconds of data, and maybe we can see. Someone says it might be breaking up. We'll see if this comment is breaking up. That would be amazing if it were. Did I see more clouds? I think I already knew those were coming. Ah, not that much. Let's see if we can see it. I still don't think I have enough uh, exposure, but...
Does, hey, does that look like it's breaking up to you guys? Is that here's the, the the nucleus, and someone said the comet is breaking up. What do you think? Or, or is the comet just moving too fast where it only looks like it's breaking up, but the, the fact that, uh, but maybe it's just that the comet is moving so fast, the, combining 45 seconds together just captured movement of the core. I don't know. What do you think? It's either the comet is moving too fast for 45 seconds of exposure or it's breaking up. So, let me, let me see something here. I, I, maybe the comet's just moving too fast. Let me try something here. You think it's breaking up? Let me take away some of that brightness. Now oh, that didn't really help, did it? Hmm. Yeah, well, if it's breaking up, then we got it. It's very elongated. Yeah, that's interesting. It's only 17 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and my equipment is running like a champ. I keep getting this question from people in different locations, from in different locations. It's everybody can see the comet it's 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 far it's way too far to to be seen differently by different states <laughs> so if you're in california just look to the north it's not going to pass by different states individually it's not like um it's not like a lunar eclipse that you might see going across the united states this is so far away we're all going to see the same thing Except depending on your location, it might seem higher or lower to the north. Difficulty from Italy. Okay. The Star Adventurer 2. Very cool. Is that a tracker? Where is it in the north? For me, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. For me, it's 60 degrees high in the north. 
very close to the north. Almost directly north for me. I think it would be that way for everybody. It would just be uh, on the altitude of it. Or the, was it the longitude? Or latitude. Man, I can't believe I'm going to eat this whole bag of Pez. And I have a dentist appointment next week. Not good. Right. I can eat peanuts now. That's true. I have cashews in the closet. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll start working on the cashews. <laughs> One time I referred to cashews as peanuts. And someone almost chewed my head up. Those aren't peanuts. They're nuts. Okay, chill out, man. Maybe if I had a Pez dispenser, it would slow me down because I put the whole pack in my mouth. <laughs> Read chat. I can't keep up with chat. I'm tired of reading. I like that you guys are chatting so much, but I can't keep up, especially after uh, five hours. <laughs> Sorry about that. But if you guys have questions, I'm sure you can help each other out. I don't know everything. I wish I did. I've forgotten far more than I could ever remember. Really? No breakup confirmed? Did they confirm no breakup?
I gotta go see that. I don't know. I don't see it. But, like I was saying, it may be the comet looks like it's breaking up only because people are, it's moving so fast that people are taking exposures that are too long, giving the exposure, given the appearance that it's breaking up. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? We got happy people on here. <laughs> yeah, and I got things to do in the morning. Don't feel you guys have to hang around because I'm still here. If you want to get sleep, you're probably not going to be missing much more. It's, the view is going to be the same. And it'll be almost the same probably tomorrow. Well, no. It'll be... The moon The, the moon is getting so bright. You know, it just... It makes things harder to see. So I don't even think I'm... I don't know if I'm going to image anything tomorrow. Because the moon reflecting off of the snow in my location, the, the light pollution is going to be off the charts. Chuck, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Thanks, Funk. Did we pass by another star? It looks like we're passing another star right there. I see a star on the on the top. Let's go back. Okay, look. Was that a star right here? We we almost gobbled up another star. No, no, I guess not. Comment is in the chat. <laughs> Somebody renamed themselves this comet. Stars are bigger than me. That's hilarious. Hello, Comet. Glad to see you. We haven't seen you in 50,000 years.
if you're just joining us, keep your eye on the comet in relation to the stars because you can see how fast it's moving. I bet you could see it in Arizona with binoculars tomorrow. Arizona has very dark skies. Thank you very much, Elizabeth, for joining Astrophotography Support. Support. I now have 16 new people who have joined my page today. Thank you very much. Can you guys help me get to 900? We hit 800 not too long ago, 594, 800. Help me, I know we've got a lot of people here who didn't subscribe yet. Can we do it? Or are you already subscribed? 28 more people. No? You're already members. You already you already subscribed. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's cruising now. Help me get to uh, nine hundred. Five hundred Fifteen more to go. Whoa, we're flying right past it. Wow. We did have a lot of people that weren't subscribed. Thank you very much. This is awesome. Thank you, guys. Two more, two more, two more. Oh, right. Oh, wow. We got a big spurt there. Thank you very much. I'll let you know if it gets close to 595, if, unless the stream finishes before then. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. What makes the comet move? Uh, <clears throat> gravity. Gravity. It's being pulled um, towards the sun. Thanks to the sun's gravity. Not really being pulled, it's, it's following uh, space-time curvature, if you want to get into relativity. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but you have misophonia? <laughs> Misophonia. How do you join my page? I will show you. There is a join button. If you go to my uh, 
uh, YouTube channel homepage, there's a join button and people can um, connect, people can uh, subscribe monthly for 99 cents a month and get these free emojis that you can use in chat, which are fun. Or if you want the high resolution pictures that I capture, that if you want to print them off on your own, which is a lot cheaper than buying them from somebody, you'll have my high res pictures to print um, and you'll have access to my data if you want to um, uh, try your hand at processing and you have priority reply in comments. And I've helped a lot of people with their astrophotography questions. So that's that. That's how you join. That is my sales pitch. I am done. <laughs> He says, look in between Polaris. Yeah, I don't I don't know if people will be able to pick out those stars, but good advice. He says, look in uh, look between Polaris and Capella. That's good advice. Very good advice. It's almost directly in between both of them 50% of the way good good advice brody ugh if if i could uh if it was warm outside i'd go again and try and find it like that The Benadryl is starting to hit me. <laughs> Eyes are starting to get heavy. Uh, <laughs> like a hypnotizer. Hip. Sure, Brody. Thanks for the advice. It's getting closer and closer to the edge. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I started dreaming. <laughs> it's, I was I was dreaming. I actually fell asleep. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> I was dreaming. <laughs> That's the first time I fell asleep on a stream. Where would I say it's going to be tomorrow? Uh, almost in the same spot it is now. Um, if you've been watching the stream, it, it ain't going very far by tomorrow. But the moon will be out even brighter. So look, for example, here's where it is right now in the north at this time of day. If I've set these settings for, um, for one more day, here's the comet. If I go one more day... Very, a little more to the west from where it is now. So just keep that in mind. It's a little more west.
Hey, thank you, Jake. I appreciate that. I I missed it. Well, I momentarily do. Oh, okay, yeah, dollar ninety nine. That's how I saw that comment already. Thank you, Jake. I appreciate that. Your 60 donation? I'm sure I did. Did, uh, did. did you donate it while I wasn't looking? Thank you. I appreciate that. You guys have got my donation up to $263.58. Chuck, you've been asleep for twenty. You've been asleep for twenty-four hours. <laughs> you've been asleep for twenty-four hours. I better sleep for twenty-four hours. I was much more perky before, but it, now it's almost one a.m. I was hanging out because there's so many people hanging out. I was having a good time. Two dollars, Buxers, Spuckris, Buxgris, Bucks. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but hey, you, two dollars. Thank you very much. And Jake Pratt, what would be a good time for tomorrow? Time zone, time zone. I would say a good time is any time after the sun sets. Look to the start. Look into the northeast after sunset. And then uh, the rest of the night, you should it should this comet stays in in view almost the entire night. Excellent location right now. You can't see it in Washington. Oh, okay. More clouds are coming.
<laughs> don't die on you. Don't die on you. Well, you know what? Let me show you what I was looking at. I, I showed you guys this in my other scene. I have been looking at... um. I've been looking at headstones for myself because we've been trying to find one for my dad. And we finally settled on one. If you didn't see it, I want to show you this because it is cool. I don't know. Oh, I showed you this in my last live stream, but it is so cool. Wouldn't wouldn't it be cool? Speak since you said Tuck, don't die on us. I would love to be buried in a crypt like that. Isn't that super cool? Headstones take a long time to make. Because I know this because my dad passed away and his headstone won't be ready for about another half year. I think it doesn't hurt to make one in advance for yourself and I wouldn't mind having a crypt. Mental Leprechaun just gifted five memberships. Wow. Holy crap. You guys are all members of my page now. When you get a membership, thank you very much, uh, Leprechaun. When you when you guys uh, have membership, just go to the my YouTube channel and you will see an extra tab for members. And you will have access. I don't know which ones. Uh, let me see. What one was? Uh, oh, these are. Yeah, I don't know which. But you will see an extra tab for members. And you will see the benefits you get with being a member. <clears throat> Thanks again, mental leprechaun. Mental leprechaun. I can't see it. I appreciate that. That's very generous of you. Uh oh. You see how the picture just got white. That means we got hit with some clouds just now, but they're probably going to pass. How many people have been here the full the full six hours? <laughs> Has anyone really been here? I've been streaming for six hours. I'm just I'm running out of gas, so I'm just wondering who's been here with me the whole time. Anybody? Really? Space nerd, wow. <laughs> Dan Coos. Welcome that wow, thank you, Dan. I appreciate that. Another member. I have twenty two new members today. That's a new record for me. Wow. Thank you very much. The comet should be uh, very north in Arizona. And it should be between, Brody pointed this out, you should see it beside between two bright stars, Capella and Polaris. Almost directly in between. Capella and Polaris, two bright stars. I'm getting hit with clouds. Uh, 
It looks like it's going to clear again, though, after this next patch of clouds. Bear with me. I'm sticking around. I need water. Oh, burn that. Oop, oop. Did I leave you guys on uh, the page PhD? Oops. And not the comet. Oh, the comet. Look at the page is all white because uh, those are the clouds. I went and got some chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, so you don't have to listen to me chewing. Sorry about that. No, I don't want to do any music. Uh, half the people won't like it. Nobody has the same taste in music. It'll just annoy people. Let me get a cookie. <laughs> sorry, I know you guys don't like to hear me crunching away. I'm sorry, but I gotta, I'm got i in here for six, six hours. and I, I need to eat something. Will it fizzle out? Some people say it's uh, it's already breaking up, but I'm not sure. Oh, hi, Ron. No, my colonoscopy was this morning. Uh, yesterday was the day where I had to drink all that crap. It was horrible, horrible. But today, it went this morning, and they found five small polyps. And they took them all out, and they said they didn't find any cancer. And they'll send the polyps in to see if they're precancerous, but I think that's routine. And they said, I don't have to go back for another colonoscopy for three years. My brother got a 10-year pass, but they want me back in three years. <laughs> that's okay. I'm cool with it. 
I mean, I'm glad they didn't find anything cancerous. That was the important thing. Yeah, that's great news. I was nervous about it, but it was, uh, I was long overdue for that kind of checkup. So I did it. But even still, I'm looking online for colon cancer. What are the symptoms? You never know. And I didn't have any of the symptoms. So I went into it thinking it's a routine. So I, I'm not going to die yet. <laughs> but if I do die, like I was showing you uh, my last stream, that's what that's the kind of thing I would like to be buried in, a crypt. This my one of my brother's houses, they have a cemetery near it. And he saw that and he sent me a picture. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'd love to be buried in that. <laughs> Because we've been talking about headstones for my own dad. So the, sub, the subject came up. My dad's headstone will... Uh, oh boy, I can't even scroll down anymore. This comment is getting low. Sorry about that. I keep burping. I, you know, I just thought I have it. I forget I'm on. I'm streaming. Yeah, eat better. <laughs> they say I need to be on a fiber diet indefinitely. <laughs> Everybody wants to tell you how to eat. The comment is about to scroll off the page and... I don't have the strength to um, go into Sky Live and find new coordinates to put it back in the center. How do you block wind? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> but it's 1 a.m. And I can tell a lot of people have already dropped off. They say, Chuck, we, I've, I'm outlasting a lot of people. <laughs> And now it's clear again. Unbelievable. And I was like wanting to do this stream early because I thought it was going to be overcast by 10. Now, now what does my weather app say? These idiots got it completely wrong. It ain't, the, it's going to be clear the rest of the night, it says. Oh, wow. I'm glad I did a stream tonight because tomorrow it says cloudy starting at all the way to uh, till midnight. Holy crap. I'm glad I streamed today. Oh, you can't even see it. Let me move this. Uh, what am I doing? Sorry about that. The, the comet has moved. My apologies. It moved behind my day two comment. See, I'm, I'm starting to get sleepy and I'm getting sloppy. <laughs> I'm getting sloppy. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna pass out. Why are you saying, who, who are you saying get out to? Get out Ace. Is Ace spamming? Ace? Okay, we'll keep an eye on Ace. Well, I don't know what that means. Who's Ariana Grande? No matter. Yeah, I know mods. Eh, spam is spam. If I see them, I get rid of them. But 
It's not the end of the world. They're going to have their say. They're everywhere. That you can, I'm not going to reposition this comment. I think I'm going to stick around until the comment finally rolls off the page. You can see the comment is getting closer to the edge, and there's really uh, not much I can do about it. It's definitely north. Sorry, I keep yawning. Chuck, are you going to image comment? Oh, I would like to. When is that going to happen? <laughs> right, I should go to sleep and just let you guys and keep the stream running, right? No, I, I want to stick around. But the comet is definitely going to roll off the screen. I was much more talkative early. I say, check this out. Here's where it started. Here, and I had all that energy, and then I took Benadryl, and it sucks the life out of you. And plus, it's uh, it's a quarter after one. That doesn't help. You just woke up. <laughs> Are you guys going to stick around and watch the comment roll off the page? Because I'm not going to recenter it. I've had enough of this comment for now. You guys going to stick around? The comment is getting close to the edge. Not much I can do about it. <laughs> it's, that's how fast this thing is moving.
Hey, Brody. <laughs> Good night, Brody. The comet is getting close to the edge. You'll stick around, Zach? All right. How many people? We started off in the center, and the comet is making its way to the edge. Let's see the dash cam. Any, no, no clouds in sight. Let's all start singing Kumbaya as it rolls off the page. Chuck's, Chuck's, Chuck's live video was bigger than the ball drop in New York for New Year's. <laughs> <coughs> We're waiting. If you're just joining us, the comment started off in the center of the page, and now it's about to leave us. I'm not going to recenter it or put in new coordinates. I think I've got enough of this comment. I've collected 505 images just... And that's not counting the stuff we captured a couple of, a couple of hundred images or more that we captured earlier. It is almost off the page. I can't scroll down any farther. You can see it's getting closer to the edge. One artist you could listen to for the rest of your life. That's what Brody wants to know. I would probably pick the Beatles. They got so many good songs. So many songs. A lot of other rockers would pick probably Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd. I like the Doors too. It's almost... It is disappearing, folks. The comet is disappearing. It is right here if you're just joining us. CCR. Yeah, that's a good one. Foo Fighters are cool. The drummer was from Nirvana. Remember that? I got to turn off those Twitter alerts. <laughs> People's faces keep popping up. All right, the comet is touching the edge of the screen. Yeah, the, and the moon's going to be even brighter tomorrow, which is why I'm probably... Well, well, I actually, uh, it seems I have clouds in the evening tomorrow anyway.
The comment is almost off the page. If you're just joining us, we watched it go off the page. <laughs> oh, boy. We are watching it go. It is almost gone. Oh, you saw Crab Nebula Pulsar. Wow, cool. It means the, the comet is no longer centered. <laughs> I would have to plug in new coordinates to get the new to get a new center. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Thanks for joining, everybody. The comet has almost disappeared. As soon as that bright is, part is gone, I'm closing down. I can't. I can't keep my eyes awake. Thank you for all the donations today and all the new members. Wow, I still can't believe it. Thanks, everybody. We, we hung on for a long time. We spent uh, six and a half hours watching this comet. I've had my fill. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining. I had a really good time, as always. I'm not sure when I'm going to be online again, but tomorrow I've got clouds, so not tomorrow. <laughs> See you, everybody. Bye. Everybody, go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Good night, and thanks for joining and all the donations. <laughs>